You don't know these things. We don't know. Yo, what's up? This is Off Topic, and it's happening now, live. Unless you're not watching it live, oh. then it already happened. Suck on that. I'm Bam. host Michael. We got Lindsay. Jeff! And... Jeremy! He needs a long pause. Give the man space. He deserves it. Jeremy, right. Matt, uh. Alfredo. Oh. Harsh. Harsh. Oh, yeah. 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 You're gonna Hot. smell it. This Woo. episode is sponsored by Calm. More on that later. Speaking of Calm. What's up? Ooh. Are you calm, cool, and collected? Dude, I have such a fucking headache right now. Okay, so that's I don't over. ever, ever get headaches, and I have the worst headache. And we have a, a big ass first aid box. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's full of band aids. There's, um, there's, there's shit. There's 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 someone's got some. Well, Everyone got some. Zyrtec I, have, I have some Advil. My dad's Zyrtec is for I have allergies. allergies. Yeah, allergies. I don't have allergies. I allergies. Excedrin. Yeah. That's four like headaches. Big. Extra strength. Oof. I'm on the podcast. Oh, there it is. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So that means that. that means I got shit to talk about. Oh. I some Advil. Karen. He's a father. Came out nowhere. Always ready. Uh, I want to talk about Haunter season two real fast, and then I'm gonna stick around for a little while and share some other stories and stuff. But uh, I don't take a lot of pills, so I'm just gonna about your one. butt. I'm not a pill. Dude, my butt, my butt has not been this happy in maybe since I was a kid. Oh, maybe man. since I was a, like a little teenage Jeff butt, my mm -hmm. cute little butt, mm -hmm. little button butt. Damn, dude. Little um, button first button. off, that's the way to go. I don't know if it's appropriate for me to think about that. Yeah. I'm of age now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so season two of Haunter. Is debuting January thirtieth. I think that that is news that oh, people get him out of the middle with me. Of. Come on, <laughs> yeah, he doesn't there. it looks like, like he's holding you too. Like it's your hands, but it looks like Trevor's going no. It it's does. Uh, it, does. <laughs> it has Trevor's name like over your like shoulder. Oh, it does. It does. It looks like, looks like, looks like your sleeve. Yeah, you're wearing a shirt with his name on it. You're Trevor yes. now. Jeremy's Trevor's biggest stan. It's true. Uh, so uh, anyway, season two is coming out in uh, 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 launches on January thirtieth, and then weekly after that, much like season one was. However, a while ago, and I want to say it was like August or so of last year, I think in a journal, Matt announced that season two of Haunter would go free to the public after I think a seven day window, which is essentially what Arizona Circle did. Yeah. Um, we're not gonna do that. Uh, that did not work out. The business has changed a little bit. And as we've said, a lot over the last few months, we're, we're going to continue to mess with things and uh, try to figure out what works best uh, for the shows and for the audience. And honestly, Haunter was paid for by first members and it was made for first members. And so we've decided uh, to make season two of Haunter follow the same release schedule as season one, season one, season one. Season one. Yeah. Season, first, one. Yeah. season one. Season one. So this is a goddamn headache. It was a season <laughs> one. So uh, yeah, um, I know that we had previously one time, months and months and months ago, reported that it would go public, but it's not. It's going to stay behind the paywall. So if you're a first member, uh, congratulations! You helped support and pay for season two of Haunter, and uh, you will get to see it very soon. However, uh, all's not lost for the people that uh, choose not to uh, support us via first or are not financially able to, uh, or have just no desire to. Uh, we are going to release, leading up to season two, we're going to release on the site, not on YouTube, uh, probably never, you'll never see the shows on YouTube. Never say never, but I would say never. A couple months from now, we'll uh, announce that you said yeah. it was never Well, I'll, I'll explain why. I'll explain why they won't go to YouTube in a second. But uh, season one, I think on January 24th, we're going to release free on the site uh, to anybody who watches it on RT.com via first or sign in or probably anonymous user as well. Every episode, uh, one episode a day of season one, leading up to the release of season two. So you'll get to see all of season one uh, just by going to roosterteeth.com starting January 24th and then the 25th and the 26th and the 27th. That's some incrementing works. Right. Uh, uh, counting, yeah. All the way up uh, till we get one to the launch of season two. Yeah, that's hard for me. Uh, so uh, <laughs> if you were expecting uh, to see season two uh, free on the site uh, as not a first member, I, I apologize. For that, but uh, if uh, if you weren't, then you don't care anyway. Yeah. That's and a good uh, point. at least you can see all of season one very soon. Uh -huh. sure. Yeah. So uh, the reason why these shows probably won't ever make it on YouTube is uh, the intent of Haunter ha has always been and continues to be to become uh, a higher production value show, mm -hmm. which requires us going out and finding a partner, like a network television partner or someone else to uh, to air the show and to help fund it, and because this. Fucking expensive. It is an expensive, expensive, it expensive the most expensive thing yeah. by orders of magnitude that Achievement Hunter has ever made. Yeah. Well, it's, and, it's a uh, controversial topic, but YouTube is anti ghost, and we just don't want to. <laughs> YouTube, YouTube, YouTube and China, Here's very anti ghost, apparently. The ghosts don't yeah. pay. 
Yeah, no, ghosts don't play. They don't yeah. kick in nothing. You two real anti dead no. people, except for Logan Paul. The oh, second boy. you put, oh. not wrong. The second you put those shows on YouTube, they lose all value in that way. So the, the Hunter will probably never make it on YouTube. But season one will be free on the site for everybody, and then season two will be uh, available for first members. I'm excited about it. it. We went international. I know. I think we had one episode last year in season one that was in England, right? Or did we not? I wasn't uh, listening. I'm sorry. God damn it! Did we <laughs> episode possibly? Did we release an England was, was episode? England yeah, we did. We did. We did the uh, Hellfire Caves. Hellfire Caves. Mm -hmm. That was in season, season one. one. So yeah. in season two, we that's have. When I punched the dildo. Yes. Yeah, that's when Ryan tried to summon the devil. Yeah. Through, through Is that when you dildos. were when Satan. you tried to fart her out? Is that when that was? No, that was. No. That, was that, that was That was, that was, that was Jefferson Pinalo. City. Yeah. Fart yeah. in the gas chamber. Yeah. You were like eight months pregnant, and we locked you yes. in the gas chamber and farted on you. That's the one where I was trying to get laid. Yeah. That yes. Is so. Uh, so, uh, but season two, that we go to Australia. We go uh, to the uh, Australia, the Melbourne jail, and try to. Try to connect with, among other people, Ned Kelly, who, if you're Australian, he's like your Superman. And uh, mostly because he was a drunk dude who fought and hated authority, right? Which is like all really standing up for yeah. Australians yeah. everywhere. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and uh, we have some more England stuff. We have uh, Pennsylvania. There's a bunch of places we went in season two. Uh, and it's, as these things tend to, to go, I think season two was much better than season one, although I loved every minute of season one. But by the time we started filming season two, we had kind of a rhythm. I think we had it figured out. And uh, I'm, I'm really excited for people to finally get to see stuff that we filmed a very long time ago at this point. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it was, uh, it was we, almost a year. Yeah, almost yeah. a year. Kind of like Weird Place. That's a weird thing uh, yeah. that Extreme Hunter was not used to working with budgets and, and these kinds of shows is when we make a video, we put it up that day or a week later, but certainly not a year later, like Weird Place or like season two of Haunter. So we've been, it's been hard not to talk about it and not to tell about our favorite moments and we always do inside wanted jokes to talk and about stuff. it on off topic. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, we just, uh, we've been trying to keep it close to the vest. But uh, if, Jeremy, you were on most of those, right? Yep, I think I was, I might've been on every one. You might've been, you and I might've been the two that were on every one of yeah. them. What was your favorite haunt from season two? I mean, like we did the Hornet. We did. I mean, the two. The Hornet's super cool. The, we, the mines. The mines. We did Pennsylvania. Um, Pennsylvania. That place was. Was it Penhurst? Penhurst, Penhurst Asylum. Yeah. You were on that one, right, Michael? That was on. Yeah, Lindsay ruined it for us a little bit. Just throw that out there for season two by getting knocked I hear up this. again. Oh, yeah, that yeah. You gone. guys had. <laughs> <laughs> didn't know where that was going. It was. It, you guys started. I think I can't remember if you. We started shooting right before Luna was born. Into shooting after she was born yeah so we each went to one location yes because we unfortunately made the incorrect decision to stay with our children yeah we which were, we were looking back on it now i yeah. should have just left her behind well, well, she would have been fine it was the second kiss not even the first one she would have been fine at the hospital we can hold it over her head for her whole <laughs> life hold it over your head yeah. hospital is gonna you take care of her hospital I, I didn't do anything yeah, right? yeah. yeah. I, like i cut the cord but it took me like three you sure bitch tries that swings sure. yeah, yeah. Well, i mean i would have done that to the ghosts though so they're missing out what was the season two haunt you went on harsh I can't remember. See, she doesn't even know. Yeah. She's... Jeff, my life is a blur. A blur okay. am I right now? You were Penhurst <laughs> yeah, because that was the whole. I was Penhurst. That was the sub debacle when I was thrown up everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the, oh, the story I mean... we've told so many times. Yeah. Of we all went and got cheesesteaks, and you were thrown up in the streets. Yeah. We have video of that, right? Yeah, it, it'll come out at some point. Yeah, some I point. assume. I don't think I ever gave it to anybody. Well, yeah, I have it. You though. talked about it's it behind the scenes. We've never right. released it just because I wanted to wait until. Haunted but that's came out. you'll see the haunt that happened immediately that, after. Because it was great. That was right after uh, Off Topic Live, and then you were dead the next day, and then we flew, and then you <laughs> we got out of the van, and you started throwing up. Yeah, yeah. but then Jesus. by haunt time, haunt time was fine because like we went out and I think we got pizza at a local place. That was good pizza. Right? And it was good, and like that brought me back. And then I ordered like a meatball sub. And then on this is before this is, I was real fat. And then uh when we were at the shoot. Oh no, this was this was pre this is post you lose were, weight. Because that's why I got so mind. drunk. That's why I got so drunk because that's I right weighed after I you lost the weight. It was right after I lost the weight. Yeah. <laughs> you were in an empty lot next to Gino's just going, Bleh. Yeah, huh? it was awesome. Uh -huh. I was still dancing and, and stuff. And we were like, Can you dance? Yeah, I was. It was Jeremy's just going, I can't wait to get to the hotel. And we all collectively went, Let's stop for cheese steaks. Yeah, and I went, like, Yup, all right. Yeah, I was like, sure. <laughs> like it's all me. No, but 30 minutes out of the way. You know, but when we were on the shoot, you know what I ate? Fucking constantly, they had those black and white cookies, like oh, you know, the yes? cookies. Oh, in the back half. No, no, no. It's like cookies. <laughs> they're like 
like uh, they're like dipped black, dipped yeah, white. Yeah, yeah, dipped in like black frosting. Then the other half is oh, dipped in white. Do you really not know? I've, what you're I've heard. Of them. Oh, you don't know a black and white cookie? I don't think so. No, yeah. like, that's a big thing on the East Coast. Yeah, have you ever seen Seinfeld? He has a whole episode. Oh, and I ate a whole thing about it. Oh, no, no, I couldn't stop myself. I know what. And it was so good. It's a cookie that's black and white. I mean, I it's half and half. Penhurst yeah. might be. I guess cookies uh, are always segregated. I don't know. Penhurst was so cool. I think uh, no, this uh, just brings the races together yeah. in cookie yeah. form. No, Michelin it's exactly was what awesome too. Though. Melbourne Jail, I like a lot just because that place is in the middle of downtown uh, Melbourne. So you're like looking up at skyscrapers while you're hunting okay. ghosts, which is weird. And yep. you had a crazy experience. That I don't think we totally caught on film. I don't know if you remember that. W which one? Where you saw a person oh, on the stairs. On the stairs, oh, dude. We, that we was. <laughs> I, I watched the episode back. Yeah, there is a moment in it where, and I've watched the episode or an early, early cut of it, where I see something, but it's like, you know, there's lots of times when we're about to do like maybe a big prank on Gavin or something like yeah. that, where we're like, okay, now we're gonna like do this, we're gonna make sure we like lure Gavin over here, mm -hmm. you know, we like have this kind of downtime, and it's during the downtime that I see it, so like no one's camera's pointed there, but. Like, you know, I don't want to get into specifics of what it was, but in the show, we then filmed the area I saw it in. And when I was watching the episode back, like, every hair stood up on me when I saw the area. Oh, I was like, oh, I was yeah, like, that's it. So, that's the yeah, angle. Dude. It was like, Sounds it was crazy. Wonderful. That was also the place where we had, <clears throat> and I, I feel like I can talk about it because I think it's going to get, I think it got totally cut because we had zero results from it. And maybe we'll do a thing like we did at the end of season one where we have Daniel come on and we play outtakes and like our favorite moments and talk about it. Yeah. But a deleted scene from that one is we actually did a summoning circle. Ryan did a summoning circle with remember, Oh, like, yeah, no, I didn't make it in. Yeah. And uh, it, it fell pretty flat, but we tried. <laughs> we, were like, we all had our own elements, and I was like, they were like, Ryan was like, speak your element. And I was like, fire. And then like, Jeff was there and he was like, what? wind. And Gaffer yeah. was like, and just like farted, like right at the perfect time. That's funny. Who was Hart? He was Hart. I mean, we are the worst for doing that kind of stuff. We are the worst. That's yeah, like, but that's because nobody else is out there doing what we do. Right. True. I've never had to and hold that back laughter quite so much <laughs> as when quite we were you. filming and we were trying to summon the ghosts in the Hellfire Caves and Ryan, <laughs> that, the fucking dildo sitting there yeah. and then Jeff ripping ass every two seconds, that like culminated and I was breaking every time. And I ruined time, like five takes. Every time Ryan goes, Satan, we just all lost it. That was so funny. Uh, uh, you know what else happened at at uh, Melbourne that's not on camera or anything? Uh, you melted my backpack. <laughs> I we about that we were time. sitting Ow. the area yeah. that we would sit like between takes was outside. Yeah. The like it was like a courtyard area, so we were like all sitting there, you know, and we like we had our drinks and everything. Mm -hmm. And uh, so they started to do some shoots during the daytime, and my backpack was in the shot, like my Astro backpack. Mm -hmm. And they're like, "Oh, we need that out of the shot." So Jeff took it and threw it off to the side. But it was on top of a light on the ground. There's like an, uh, oh. you know, an inset light in the ground, which wasn't on yet, I don't think. Yeah. So night yeah, hits so and, all the, it. and all the it lights turn on. I don't know <laughs> that the lights have turned on. And we do the whole haunt. You know, it's over 2, 3 a.m. or whatever. We come out. We're like grabbing all of our stuff. And I'm like, where's my backpack? Oh, there it is. And I pull it up and the front is just like, <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> like and, and I still use the backpack. So the face of my backpack is a big hole burn. Oh. Like right in His backpack looked like venom coming apart. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> so now like when I, I can't put anything in the front pouch because you just see it. It's, it's just oh. burned right through. Now, Matt, I have yeah. to ask, I know you haven't had the chance to go on a haunt yet. Mm. In my mind, if you were to join us, you would be like the Netflix and chill dude with ghosts. Like, yo, you want to come over? Oh, yeah, watch you want to hang out? Yeah, These fucking move. ghosts? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, you a little know. Bit. They need like love? Dildo. They, they need love. He's yeah. not sexing them. He just wants them to come chill in his apartment. Yeah. Just You're hang like, out. You know. Sexing them. <laughs> well, I mean, you're dead. That's what are you job. doing? Just, <laughs> you got plenty of time. You can hang out for a little while. Matt would be the guy that the ghosts come to. You know, we're out there crawling through the dirt. Melting backpacks, you know, like <laughs> farting Hard up a storm. And right. and the ghost nowhere to be found. Matt be chilling. The ghosts are like, boo, and he'd go, eh. yeah. yeah. Like, you wanna, the ghost like, right? the ghost like can't catch a break. Right? Damn it. You want to film me? And he'd be like, nah, my camera's yeah, over there. Okay. <laughs> he'd be like, hey, ghost, hang out, hang out for a sec. Have you seen my DS? <laughs> <Can't find it. laughs> uh, can, you, can you go while you're draining the bathroom? He's just like, hey, did you hear about that slowpoke announcement? 
It's like they Why can't you bring that up? In addition, though, um, today? I'm gonna I'm gonna endeavor to be in uh, to be a little bit more visible in content in 2020. I had to take a well, you obviously the new job. I took a step back, but a lot of it was because I was doing a, a bunch of prep work for uh, new shows in 2020. New tent, like we call them tentpole shows, but new premiere shows we're gonna do. Which uh, I just realized I'm about to announce an announcement. I hate <gasps> doing that, so don't but do it. I will have more okay. information soon on the Haunter esque shows that. That we'll be doing in 2020. Season three, be first shows. <laughs> Season that. three I of wish. Haunter is not I, one of those shows. I wish. I wish it was. Roll some more dice. We'd, we'd know because we'd already be filming. We need right? a yeah. <laughs> we need a, we need a cheap season yeah. three. Can you announce Boop. season three of X-ray and Power? Is it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can announce anything you want. Okay, okay. I'll, I'll just Everything say that. Announce, actually dies. Announce whatever, man. That'd be a whole bunch of. We're gonna do a lot of really cool shit in 2020. Um, I hope. And I'm sitting here wondering what I can talk about, and then I realize it's, um, I think I'd make that decision. I know it, you can so talk I don't want to get in trouble you with myself. You were strumming your fingers oh, before damn. the show. I know what you can talk about. Yeah. What's that? Talk about your butthole. We can talk about my butthole first. <laughs> okay. Matt Bragg, you did something. Uh, Why'd you point to a friend? Today. He pointed the man. You, uh, uh, my you got logo. Andrew Payton to do a so, bunch of work. <laughs> uh-huh. Oh. Jack and I filmed a horse today. Yeah. Halo horse. Halo horse. That'll be up I heard it. It was, I can't tell you how much... Like how weird it was. We haven't filmed that show in like seven, eight years, probably. Yeah. Probably, yeah. probably yeah. We, 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 did one, we did one in Halo Five, but not counting the, like yeah. a callback. And so we did like a special one. Uh, we've been talking about it for a while, so we filmed it today, and it was instantly like so much fun. And be like, oh god, I remember this. Why did we ever stop doing this? And ten minutes later, I remembered all the reasons yeah. we stopped. Mm -hmm. Fuck that game was that or that uh, that show was frustrating to make. Ugh. But it was fun. <laughs> it was fun. Yeah, it was I, was fun. I brought it back. I brought it back in my hand, and we canceled it in the span of the thirty minutes we filmed it. I was just standing behind you watching it. Like, yeah. Well, I remember like more. You know, because you you know the the maps you were playing were they started fairly simple. Yeah. Yeah. Hit this into that. Jump mm -hmm. this over there and stuff like that. And then. People like what was it like Edo Sens or yeah, something Edo made those Sins. race yep. maps. Yeah, made a ton of them that and were, they were like super difficult. crazy. Sh and I imagine it took an hour to do. I hate one, those I race can't maps. fathom that. Like to do one map, you know, one letter. These Horse are like was the fun. Good ones. Horse was fun. Then I got here and you're like, God, do some of this. I don't want to keep doing this. <laughs> <laughs> I started to outsource my misery. I think that was one of the first things I've edited in Achievement Hunter. It was really? a horse or a pig video. Yeah. It, it was fun to sit down and figure out like. Uh, Fuck! How do we access file share? How do we, how do we use Forge again? Yeah, you know how you pull like, Matt off a stream. Then when we had to pull Matt off, stream, there was a lot of pulling Jared Matt off for Matt oh, helping, and, and we, a lot of Jack just <laughs> bitching. We about plummeted it. his oh. Pokemon rank. Oh no! So, oh, if you watch this, if you watch the stream this morning, Jeremy and I busted in and like we go, Matt, you got called up. It was to help Jeff make horse work. Yeah, yeah. Apparently, so Pokemon then, has a ranked so like Siege, and we just Matt's tanked Pokemon Matt. yeah. just failed us. That's a grind. Well, he also, puts in a super secret swappy room. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, those fast guys are like, slow. I know Pokemon. He didn't they, tell they, us. They right. did it. We know that Pokemon. We're like, use. let's send out this guy yeah, yeah. to like, because he'll, you know, his speed is higher. They like level everyone's level out. Yeah, right. But I'm like, this guy's going like to have 50. a higher speed, so he'll go first and blah, blah, blah. Matt's like, oh, no, you're playing fucking Bizarro map, which means well, no. slow Pokemon no, go it was first. Called, it was the silly room. That's what it was called. Yes, the silly room. Uh, it's trick room, which is a move that the enemy can use. Oh, so see, it, it's it wasn't, learning it wasn't more. It's getting more complicated. I saw one of them play on dumb mode. Oh, it, it was. I saw was one it. of them use a move that like boosted their stats. I'm like, this guy's gonna kick her ass. As soon yeah. as they use a move that doesn't do damage, I'm like, they yeah. know more the than us. The moves that they shouldn't exist. Right. Single player. The moves you can delete right, right away. Right right yeah. Oh wow, yeah. this is a status effect. Yeah, he's got some. This will help my special attack for a future move. I'm like, use tackle, do damage. Yeah, unless it puts him to sleep or paralyzes him, get away from me. Get the fuck out of my off of me. List. You know what I'm saying? Jeff? Yeah. I do know what you're saying. You can wind yeah, up the yeah, punch or just go with the quick. It's, it's nuts. I'm a uh, speaking of but video yeah, Matt games. Lost speaking bad. of video games. I'm up to three percent on my oh, achievement. Oh, 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 the Check amount of work to go from two percent to three percent <laughs> on goddamn Jim's of War. <sighs> this episode of Off Topic is brought to you by Calm. What if you could accomplish all your resolutions this year by doing one thing? 
Mindfulness is the best thing you could do to help you focus on all areas of your life, whether that's taking care of your body, getting more sleep, or finally starting that project you always wanted to. With Calm, you can learn to be more mindful so you can achieve all your goals this year. Calm is the number one app for sleep, relaxation, and meditation. Calm has sleep stories, which are like bedtime stories for adults. They can help you fall into a deep, natural sleep in minutes. And the stories are narrated by iconic voices like LeVar Burton and Nick Offerman. They also have soothing music from artists like Sam Smith, guided meditations, breathing exercises, and so much more to keep you relaxed and to de-stress. And if you go to calm.com slash off topic, you'll get a limited time offer of 40% off a Calm premium subscription, which includes hundreds of hours of programming. Over 60 million people use Calm. Join them today to accomplish your goals tomorrow. For listeners of this show, Calm is offering a special limited time promotion of 40% off a Calm premium subscription at calm.com slash off topic. That's 40% off unlimited access to Calm's entire library and new content is added every week. Get started today at calm.com slash off topic. That's calm, C A L M dot com slash off topic. Also, I thought you were going to say, speaking of video games, you've been playing through Halo recently. Oh, dude, I have. Yeah. Awesome. I discovered everyone should have a kid. Well, purely well, to play well, Halo with true. that kid. Yeah. Millie, afford people, the kid, some people, afford yeah. the kid. No, Millie and I were uh, bored nope, the other day. Ravage the earth, worry later. <laughs> Millie and I were bored the other day, and she was like, I want to play a game, and like we had been playing Gears 5, I guess, and I don't know, this just kind of didn't feel like it. I, I We got to the part where it goes fully open world, and I just got kind of confused, and then we'll get back to it at some point, but I was like, you ever play Halo? And she's like, yeah, I play Halo all the time, and I'm like, no, the single player, That's and she's it, like, yeah. Not MP. <coughs> oh, oh not. man, that's the best part. And of so Halo I opened up. I opened up Master Chief mm-hmm. Collection, and we started playing Halo One. We got about halfway through. We got through Assault on Control, which, by the way, is the longest fucking level. Yeah, it I is. Did not remember how bullshit long that level was. Also, you get lost if Halo you don't. Uh, dude, Halo One is the entire game is a maze. Oh my god, you spend so much time lost. It's a lot of figure it out in Halo. But if 1. you don't, if you don't, uh, if you don't uh, imp the a banshee to get through the top of uh, Assault on Control, and you go the fucking hoofing it way. That is like an hour long level. It was crazy. Anyway, so much fun playing through. So Millie and I are going to play through all the Halo campaigns together, and it kind of turned Every into like a, a Rooster Teeth history lesson. You know, I'd be like, "Oh, yeah. look here, look at the warthog. See, look at the toe hooks, and like this is why we did this, and this is why we did that." And she's like, "Whatever." Just yeah, I was going to say, yeah, I, I, I want to like just stop. Yeah. She just wants to play uh, immediately. Yeah. Anyway, it's amazing really how well those this. campaigns still hold up. Yeah. Where's isn't Puma in Halo Three somewhere? Isn't it like on the tire of the warthog? Yeah, or I something? believe so. Is it's on the tire of the warthog. And there's yeah, there's some Easter egg on the shotgun shells too, right? Yeah, I can't remember what it is, but something's written on the on back the of the shotgun. shotgun shell. What is that? I can't remember. What... Dude, what I, I love is that I've been I've been doing all the achievements of Reach or trying to like every Easter egg they turn into an achievement. Yeah, that's um, great. Do this Easter egg, do that Easter like get into Halsey's office yeah. and Reach. It's, it's like a whole fucking thing. You're gonna fight all the gold elites and everything. But... I'm excited to get to the point where like. Where I can go like, oh, here, come stand next to this door. What do you hear? That's daddy. Daddy's in here. <laughs> oh, you did the, the password. I should be like, I like, should be like whatever. I like the idea that that's you saying, that's daddy. Yeah. yeah. That's me. <laughs> yeah, do you no, recognize no, that guy? And she's like, she'll be like, yeah, it sounds like Gus and some I asshole. Don't care. Yeah. Yeah. Griffin no. Simmons like, doing their thing. For us, please. with Iris, any dude she sees in pretty much any form of media is daddy or any woman that, that. Is, is mama. So really? we're like, like the other day, uh, Michael was pointing out a picture of off topic. It was everyone on set. And she'd point to every dude and go like, dada, dada. And we're nope. like, no, it's Alfredo. No, 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 I mean, like, I mean, she's been no, she's Jeff been, for a yes. while. She's been pretty she's great shy. lately. Like, we just did Christmas and had our Christmas vacation, and we went to the beach in Mexico, and we nice. just had a lovely time. No, she's awesome. been she's been a pretty awesome kid lately. Yes. Yeah. Nice. Well, I was telling you, Iris just has her first like savage session, I guess, where she knew what she was saying to what me. Does that mean? So, well, savage. I told you, I was putting her to bed. Oh, that's just truth. Yeah, I guess I was bringing her to bed, <laughs> and uh, she doesn't understand the concept of like the term "I love you." So she knows. I say like. Oh, fucking Christ! <laughs> Shut the god. No. Go back no, to New Jersey. She piece knows. of shit. She knows. <laughs> Anywho, so putting her to bed, talking to her, trying to explain to her what love is as a concept. I say like, "Hey, you make me really happy." Okay, I love you. There we go. We'll try and blend the two. You'll figure it out. So I said, "You make me so happy. I hope mommy makes you happy." And she goes, "So sad, <laughs> so sad." And I went, "Wait, are you are you saying I make you so sad?" And she goes, "Yeah." 
It's like, oh. Bam. Oh, oh my God. God. Get used to it. It's That's true. Enough. You got a tangle. Yeah. Oh. I'll be downstairs. Bam. Yeah. I try and help you out, but you don't listen. <laughs> yeah. You don't listen. Incorrect. You said to me the other day that there was something that Iris didn't want to do. It was like cleaning her ears or something. Mm -hmm. And you were like, I don't want to do that because she doesn't like that. I let mommy do that. Right. Yep. She does all the things yeah. that she doesn't I'm like. I'm the bad guy. Yeah. Like, <laughs> things. Does that, but like you know, when you're when you're holding her down, you got to know the level of holding. You mm -hmm. know, it's a light there's one. like there's like a tickle, and it's like I'm having fun, and then there's a tickle. You're, you're too much. Yeah. And I try to alleviate in the middle there, and you're just pushing her further into the daddy zone. Yep. You know. We'll be like sitting the there. Hug. We'll be sitting there playing Yoshi. That Venn diagram of mom and dad. <laughs> we'll be going there playing more Yoshi. We we'll playing Yoshi, and she'll get stuck, and she's like, she'll just give it to me, like da, 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 whatever, and I'll go, oh, let mommy play. And she go, no, mommy, no, no, and mommy. Then I cry. Yeah, <laughs> but you know, you kind of deserve it. So I'll be over here with Luna. So whatever. Yeah, for now, I'm good. Oh, Show them around. Has everybody's buttholes? Yeah, okay, uh, you know, not usual, yeah. not awful. Same old. I check back there. Same, same, same old. Sometimes podcast. if the shits real my, big, you know, it hurts. Mm. My butthole is back to my Austin normal. It was a little okay. out of whack when I went to New Jersey. Yeah, because like you know, my innards got all mixed up. So it was it was a little bit of a touch and go situation with my butthole. My butthole's bad because I'm high on the creatine and stuff right now. Oh. That's oh, that's yeah. part of it. So well, like yeah. the creatine will it'll Fucked like up your butthole? Well the creatine will like mess with your It duty. dries everything up. It dries you all mm -hmm. up. Oh. But like generally speaking, um both my life in general of the slop that I eat and then living in Austin, it just my my insides produce a a, a, a moisture crap. Mm. Right? <laughs> Oh, and you were like, really picking your words there, and yeah, then it just yeah, went just downhill crap. so quick. Oh, that was you know, <laughs> Just crap what, what busted you, what in. What is you A BM? Yeah. When I, when I make, when I make, mm -hmm. you know, it's fine. But the creatine, man, that dries you up. It dries you up. So when I didn't have my my comforts and my usual diet, but still had the creatine, no. oh, it was Speaking ripping through me in New Jersey. I mentioned, I mentioned the other day in the office, like, I had some real painful ones. So it was just like a boulder. You know, It'll just tumbling. Happen. It'll happen. Like my yeah. like my butthole was just like the path in Indiana Jones. Tear through saying. your asshole, dude. Tore through. Yeah. It was it was it was spotty. But your anus, Jeff. I I feel like I feel like my life has been saved in some ways mm -hmm. in the last oh month God, or so. Born. <laughs> well, you know, I have uh, diverticulitis, <laughs> which is uh, essentially a butthole disease, or div diverticulosis uh, is a butthole disease I have, uh, and uh, it's something I've been fighting with for since I was like thirty two. And uh, it got real bad in 2019, and so I've been doing different medicines and stuff. Anyway, the result, uh, I've got it all worked out. Uh, the result is uh, I have to take stool softener every day for the rest of my life, though, because my shits are fucking solid. Oh, rocks, too rocks. solid on their own. Too solid, too solid for my intestines to deal with. They're like, Holy hell. Can't, can't handle it. Uh, but uh, so anyway, I got the medicine stuff worked out, and that's been good. But for Christmas... I, I, I am passionately plea to all of you to get one of these, if you can. I was given, I didn't pay for it, but as a gift, I was given uh, by my girlfriend a Toto bidet. Oh, we're mm -hmm. familiar. I mean, I'd used them before in Japan. I'd used them in Canada. It's but, different when you have one. But though. in yeah. your, like, this motherfucker, I open up, first off, I talk to it like it's, Puppy. Mm -hmm. uh, it's Toto, okay. yeah. Yeah. That you shit. So don't do this to your puppy. Anytime yeah, I open the puppy. bedroom door or the bathroom door, the shit room door, because you know I, I, the shit I have one of those, yeah, no, one of those bathrooms that's got like a shit box. Yeah. 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 So anytime yeah. I open up the shit box door, my toilet goes. Hello. Oh, it opens. It doesn't say hello, yeah. but it opens but for it, me. Yeah. It's like motion. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And then knows. talk to me. The seat warmer starts. So by the time I get unbuckled and ready to to plop on down. The seat is you warm and comforting, oh and it just embraces my my anus mm -hmm. in the nicest way, and I, I get this like warm, safe feeling. Yeah. The seat doesn't then, embrace your anus. Then I eliminate. The cheeks are embraced. I, I eliminate. <laughs> well, it embraces the cheeks, and the anus slowly opens. Like, it, what's yeah. going on? Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's like, it feels like it feels, I feel warm. I feel they warm. know I don't like buttholes. No, Zoom in on me now. I feel warm and cuddled and safe. You will. I'm gonna come out to play. And it's like a little baby prolapse to see what's going on. It feels warm out there. And, uh, nuts. and then I, I eliminate, I do my duty, and uh, and then you you can pick, you then you, the, you use the bidet function, which it looks like alien's mouth, like HRG's yeah. alien's mouth. Uh -huh. It goes like, 
<laughs> it's pretty fucking funny to look at Whoa. and also kind of scary. But uh, then you can have oscillating or mm -hmm. pulsating water. And you can control the temperature yep. and the frequency. You can pick yeah. the exact angle. And yeah. the angle. If you're a lady, you can have front spray. It has front spray and back spray. So if you want to, you want to spray your bitty, yeah. or if you want to do, you want to spray the back of your balls. I did it just to see. <laughs> sure. Not altogether unpleasant in its own oh. way. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, so then you can be like oscillating is, is the way I go. It goes. Oh, it goes. Okay. Mm -hmm. I like it better than pulsating. But anyway. And then you control the temperature of that, so you're like, eh, it's a little cold on my butt. I want a little mm. bit warmer. We're like, oh, that's too warm. Let's dial it back a bit. I don't mm. want to burn. I don't second degree burns on my butthole. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, and then when you're done, you you hit the dryer, <laughs> and it just goes. Yep. And you can control how warm the dryer <laughs> yeah. is. Oh my god. Yeah. Dude, I, dude, dude, you I stay in your nice pine never, scent. Never, never in your life <laughs> do just you like starts. make. Stand up and you go, I'm cleaner than when I sat down. Cleaner than oh, when I sat down. It's yeah. amazing. And yeah. I'm one of those people that's like obsessive about wiping to the point where I'm like, yep. I will honestly, I, there, yeah. at least once every other day, I'm like, well, that's a little bit of blood. I guess I wipe too hard. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but then you got to get all the blood out of there. Yeah. But I don't have that. And, my, I, be, and because of that, I always have kind of a stingy butthole. Oh. You know, like anytime yeah. I sit down, yeah, you spread. Yeah. Sometimes you get a little like, and you're like, ow, I guess I wiped mm -hmm. too hard yesterday. I you got like adjust. a, I got like a little butt. Thing. Uh, <laughs> like a paper cut. Like a paper cut on, on my your, asshole. On your, on your Not anymore, cut. dude. My butt yeah. is, I can't, I gotta, oh my it's god. It's singing. changed my it's life. It's singing. It's changed my life. With the, the right the, rhythm and the I right feel healthier. It's awesome. I love butt play. It's I awesome. sleep better. <laughs> right I, feel right better. I feel taller. I have really good focus time in the bathroom where it's just me and the right toilet. It's so nice. Do you feel yeah. that the, the toilet seat warmer also kind of loosens your butt muscles it does. to help you It pass? does. It does. Yeah. The whole thing. It's it's, it's designed oh, sure. to put you in yeah. a state of... Yeah. It's you're, like, doing it, you're doing it like a caveman. Yeah. 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 You're in a state of like fecal zen. Yeah. Is how I could describe it. It's really like... You're opening your chambers. Your chambers, your ass. I mean, anyway. Bidets make total sense to me. Yeah. I think it's just the fact that I've only been caught off guard by bidets. No, you gotta go in there. It's always in an Asian yeah. country and I yeah. can't read the toilet and a button goes awry and then my ass is getting spread. I'll be honest, even in, in America, there's a learning curve. Like in English, you don't understand it at first either. Yeah. It's a, it's yeah. a lot of symbols and pictures. And you're like, what is that? Oh, that's yeah. what that means. It's, it's got a remote water control there. <laughs> like this big. You're like, burp, 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 burp. True. Anytime you guys want to test out, come over and take a shit in my house. It's good. Yes. Spend that, thirty. That yeah, I'd good. spend thirty minutes in my it's bathroom. Good, dude. I won't ask. How many times do you poop? Yeah, right? me a lot. It's like the bed argument. You know what I mean? Like, get a good bed, get a good mattress. You do a lot of sleeping. You spend poop. a third of your life in that bed. You I spent a, a quarter of my life on a toilet. Probably. You do a lot, a lot of poop. Me. With my colon issues. I bring my phone in there. I'm gone for. Like, I feel like a warm yeah. seat <laughs> sounds great, <laughs> and the, I mean, but the first time calls, would be like, off-putting to me because normally a warm seat means someone was just on it. Yeah, but you know, I agree with your house though. Yeah, but if it was that same problem, it's like I don't want to do that. It's like when you get the seat warmers in your car though. It's great. It's like, oh, that the first good. time you like use that, you feel like you piss yourself. Yeah, yeah dude. you do. The I'll first do time your seat warms in your car, you're like, did I piss right. myself? No, like, but no, put you get cold used to cold it. feels like you're With sitting in a pot. urine. Yeah, very quickly do you get used to it, and no. once you're used oh, to it, there's great. no going back. I feel like when I come to Rouge Teeth, I hold my poop now because I'm like, I'm not gonna yeah, shit I like I'm savage. not gonna, uh, I'm not gonna uh, waste uh, it on the toilet. I do that anyway. I'll admit it. I took a poop right before the podcast. I was almost late for the podcast because I was taking. You were late. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right Next time. time, I'll give you the code to my house. Just swing back by my house, take a <laughs> shit there, come back. <laughs> you'll, be, you'll be more late, but you'll be no, better off. Wrong. Before totoing, did you use wet ones to clean yourself? Uh, no. Um, I have in the past, mm -hmm. but it's hard to keep up with. Uh, but as a part of the Toto experience, I was also given uh, dude wipes or whatever the fuck oh. they're called. Like for your and so I've been using those. Nice. Not like wet ones, oh. but they're biodegradable and they're, they're flushable. Mm -hmm. And uh, also, total game changer. Yeah. yeah. I've been Damn. using wet ones for some time. You don't realize you're a game on par. You deserve to change. On, on I think so. Man. Also, you don't realize how un like I didn't realize how miserable and uncomfortable mo both my butt and my butt shitting experiences were until I got the wipes and the, now you the toilet. Now you race to the bathroom yeah. like. Yes. Well, that was the worst part. <laughs> I got back to Mexico. I had the toilet installed. We had the toilet installed while I was gone. I didn't have to shit for two days. And I was literally no. like going like, come on! Oh, I would no. sit on the toilet to try to prompt it out. Oh, and I'd be no. like, come on, man! Was like, Nothing. Now here's the problem. Nothing. Damn, you dude. have an amazing experience now. You love this. This is an upgrade. But that high is going to wane. No, it's not. And you're absolutely going to get no. used to this. This is going to become the norm. I don't think no, so. This is How a do you step it up this after that? This isn't a waning moon. This is a waxing. I think you will. I think you'll get bored. 
No, you're not, gonna, you're not going to get bored. bored if war. anything, if anything, you will seat. just. I think I travel enough. If, if you live a life of nothing enough. but comfort, comfort becomes mundane. He I doesn't live a life of nothing right. but comfort, though. You're he right. travels. He's, how often is Jeff home? Yeah, yeah, yeah I, exactly. I'm not Matt accountant. doesn't ever leave his house. That's what you want from Matt. Yeah. Yeah. It feels great to roll in the mud every now and again. Yeah. Today is January 9th. I am at, I have three more trips in January. It constantly I'm, gives you something to get excited to come home to. Yeah. It is. It is. Because you're out there slumming it. I want to see my kid. I want to see my girlfriend. I miss my house and my dogs. And oh right, I also my toilet. It will Mostly my toilet. It Honestly, will just my toilet. Lessen the experience of using a regular toilet. <laughs> like that's going to be worse now. I'd rather die. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, that's how I feel now with weighted blankets. Like mm. now I don't want to sleep without one. Have I'm you just so accustomed to it? Have you seen the vi the TikToks where it's a TikTok thing right now where people will throw a weighted blanket over their head and try to stand up and no. it like fucking snaps your neck because oh, they're great. like thirty awesome. pounds. I sleep with a weighted blanket as well. <laughs> when I'm, sometimes when it's and they're very comfortable. The old man got that. It's a big thing. Like <laughs> oh, I now. all the people are like you throw the weighted blanket up and then these people bones. collapse as soon as oh, they get their head off. Damn. Well, yeah. Off camera, you hear somebody go. Yeah, yes. but then also it's convenient because if they're dead, their body's already covered. Yeah, it's true. Just and ain't no smell getting out from under that. Yeah, in the middle of the no, night, the if I turn over just to like move my body, I have to like kick that blanket up into the air. You gotta put so some force. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. uh, Jeremy, no night workout. Jeremy keeps saying he wants to do. You know, there's like the things on TikTok. Whatever's like trending like on it'll TikTok. It'll trend. Everybody yeah. does it. He wants to do that with our old men. Should. Like Every the trend. Old man doing the trend. Like, you know, oh, when, like when everyone was. Up and getting hit in the head. Right, when everyone yeah. was looking down at the camera, if it was just the old men over the camera and they just. <laughs> and then, like, one gets hit and dies, and the other one just falls over. <laughs> Who's this guy? <laughs> Who's this guy? <laughs> Who's this guy? <laughs> <laughs> the weighted blankets are a big one right now. Have you talk. used compression socks? Apparently, we as humans should just be squeezed the entire time. You keep saying yeah. socks. So They're not socks. They are. Mine are socks. Yours just, are not. just yours are socks, but they go on your entire leg. So I, you keep saying sock. Isn't like, that sock for people is with like barely varicose veins or yeah, yeah. Yeah. or just like sore yeah. like like muscles like yeah. bad yeah. knees? No, I, I, I wear them because my knees. I have not. And uh, also my knee I and mean, my family has strokes. Restricts blood flow. It, it's just, yeah, it's just like it goes. Durk! And just why? Like, it squishes all your shit together. It's like why do you spanks want for your blood? blood flow. It, yeah, I yeah. can't explain why it's great, but Got it is. It. It's like, you know, bending down is painful, and then it's not when you wear those things. I do need to take them off. I see, I, 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 I always put them on when I go to the gym, and usually I'll just leave them on all day because they're just comfortable to wear. But I got to take them off at night because you'll reach a point of like, I need to breathe. Like they have like tiny little <laughs> pinholes in them, so you, yeah. you can like sweat and, you know, like get air. It's not like you're dripping wet when you take them mm -hmm. off. But like, dude, oh man, for me, like again, because I got bad knees, wearing them on planes, it's amazing. Because I get like, my knees get so sore, my legs get like cramped sitting in a I, plane. I, you I, fucking, yeah. you're like, you know, stretched out on every flight ever. I, so I, I kick <laughs> it really, flight. No, it really is like the biggest thing Jeremy has going for him. Right, people are he's like, always got space on a plane. It's awesome. They're like, do you want to pay extra for the uh, exit no. room? I'm like, no. no. Jeremy's got plenty of room. Can I get, like, get, like, yeah, like, can like, can I get a discount for a smaller yeah, space? Yeah, like, fuck off. Tuck um, me wherever. It's, I always wear them on planes now. So I don't know the science behind them too, but I've, I was told at least that the compression socks actually help increase blood flow. It's not you cutting it off, but somehow by like pulling your body Maybe together. It's, like it's pushing it like kind the of. entire I don't claim to know any science in that form. I don't either. I wear wise. them and they feel nice. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I can tell from That's a realistic um, experience. You guys watch any TV right now? Uh, I well, watched. Yeah. I watched uh, The Witcher. Yeah, that was I the watched Witcher. that. What was the first episode? Um, I saw the Orgy scene. Was that was right. Do it. I gotta do it. Uh, it's, it's a, a soft Silicon Valley. Can still read. I don't know what else. There's a lot going. On. You guys watch Watchmen? <laughs> yes, I watched I it. All I just seen it. I didn't finish that. It's, it's Gus. Said, Gus told me it's the best show it, he's ever seen. So a lot of people say. Really good. Yeah. It's kind of a slow start. Man, I'm still fucking stuck on. I mean, my bullshit reality yeah. TV. Yeah, right. Oh yeah, what's so the Bachelor? Love Island it's UK. Starting. I'm about thirty episodes into that one. I got twenty to go. Watch the documentary about the Dalai Lama. You know, oh. the polar opposite end of that. Oh, I watched my favorite. Uh, Lama. Did you guys see that docu series on Netflix? Uh, don't fuck with cats. No, no, I didn't no. because I saw the end of tweet about it, and I don't cat? want to see it. Yeah, it's what is the pro? It's almost uh, it's hard to believe. It's a compilation of funny cat videos. Yeah, no, it's it's about. It's essentially about a serial killer named Luca Magnata, who's a Canadian dude, who they caught him because he would upload videos of himself killing cats. Yeah. And what? then it kept escalating. And then people on the internet were like, 
cat lovers were like, we're going to find out who this motherfucker is and take him down. And so they started to investigate him and then he started to ratchet it up and then he started killing people and it turned into like a yeah. real thing. They caught him in, I don't want to spoil it, but uh, it's all, he was a serial killer and uh, people the on the internet, like internet detectives, internet sleuths, cat lovers, <clears throat> ended up being really instrumental in, in tracking him down and finding him. Yeah. I'm watching yeah. that tonight. It was, after, it's three episodes. It's very After insane. I watched Underwater. Watching yeah. that tonight. What's Underwater? That's, That's uh, a new Christmas, oh, Christmas Street movie. Oh. It looks like, she's she's looks like aliens. aliens, but underwater. DJ yeah. Miller's huh. there. Yeah. He's probably telling some jokes. Probably gets killed. Yeah. Yeah. He would I he know. would be the one to die. I'm all about like good like monster action. Are you, movies. you going to the movie to see that? Mm -hmm. no, that's cool. Ah, that is bootlegging it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's what a bastard. <laughs> Got it. Got I can't, pass. Yeah. I can't cats? make myself watch narrative stuff <laughs> no, I'm, I'm anymore. Kidding. Yeah, like even I even like I, I have a kid. I, although I did watch a new season of Shit's Creek because launched. Well, I saw the first episode of that. That's... I've also started watching this show called Mediterranean Life on HGTV, which is oh, you're getting old, man, dude. You just watch it from the Toto. A couple just blast yourself, <laughs> dude. If I had a TV in the t if, I had a, if I had a TV oh. in the shit box, I'd never leave. I'd never leave. Uh, I, uh, in Mediterranean life is fucking, it's nonsense. It's a couple decides they're sick of living in America and they want to live on the Mediterranean, typically in like, uh, f Spain, the coast of Spain or South of France, or maybe like Crete or Greece or one of those places. And, uh, they go and it's just them saying like, we've decided to move and have a different way to live. And then they go to these little towns in the Mediterranean and they hire a real estate guy or lady, and they're like, we have 1500 bucks a month that we can afford to pay in rent. And then they go, okay, cool, I'll find you a mansion. Here it is, it's on the water. Congratulations, your life is uh, paradise now. And then that's it. Oh. And it's just like, I, I just watch it and Are dream. You do that? I just watch it and dream it's about being awesome. those people. Do they have yeah. Totos? No, I very rarely do see oh, tones, but I bring my own. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I sympathize with they the feeling because that's when I watch like organizational videos on YouTube, and I'm like, I'll never be this person, but I want to be. You can like, live in cool. a villa three feet from the ocean in Spain, and every every direction you look at is a postcard of beauty, and there and that's like, well, this one's eleven hundred dollars a month. The other one was only ten fifty. I don't know. Fuck. So that's. Expensive. Yeah. But how far is McDonald's? Yeah, that's oh, the question. Oh, shit. Dude, oh, shit. when I deal breaker, I obviously don't watch TV, but my parents do. So when I was back in Massachusetts, you know, I'm sitting with them and they're watching whatever they want to watch. And there's some like house hunters show, but Dude. it's like specifically like beach houses or like vacation style houses or something. That yeah. is stuff literally categories. all yeah. my dad watched. Yeah, and the so they, time my parents were watching it, and there was just one fucking idiot couple that was like, got him. Buying a house in Australia. Hope they're watching. Right? Like, we're buying a house in Australia and we want it to be, like, kind of remote, <laughs> like, away from the city. But at the same time, like, they kept saying, we want to entertain. That's what they kept saying. They were looking at this one house. They fucking flew to Sydney, drove, like, two hours north, mm -hmm. then got in a boat for, like, an hour. You know, up a river, because they're like, this is only accessible by boat. You can get here on the mail boat, the boat that delivers your mail. And they, like, go in the mail boat, and they ride it to the house, and they're in there, and they're like, man, this deck would be a great place to entertain, like, a lot of people. I'm like, who the fuck's who going to your house? Are you I kidding know. me? Like, if I my cousin was, know. like, fly to Australia, go up the damn river, watch out for crocodiles, they'll jump on your mail boat and take you down. <laughs> Welcome to the party. <laughs> I saw the hell of a party the though. Same thing. Oh my god! Hell would come Are there? you shitting me? There's like, no there's fucking way. Fuck party. off! I love this. Here's a comment. I'm looking in the live chat. Uh -oh. Jeff and his shit reality TV fetish is why I haven't missed him that much. <laughs> Maybe talk about reality TV for three to five minutes max. Fuck on a off, Jeff. Fuck off. Not that that's serious. I talk about my asshole and toilets way more they're than whatever. There are bigger, bigger TV, things to be pissed off that. about. Come on, man. Uh, yeah. Everybody loves clean buttholes. I guess so. Is there a Toto toilet reality TV show? Can there we should make be. one? About yeah. how yeah. toilets Everyone's change people's experience. lives. Yeah. The question is like, <laughs> the if there's if there's Toto TV, is it a camera? I want that on film. If there's Toto TV, is it a camera looking into the toilet or out of the toilet? Ooh. Well, it could be Paywall set up. For yeah. It could be Paywall. set up like Paywall. intervention. It's free. Like uh, if you know? love your family member enough, you're like, you need a Toto, and here's why. Like you're you're shitting horribly. It's bad. You just don't understand. Dude, it's a I, I bet adventure. they could do like a diagnostic <laughs> Toto. Like we examined the poop coming out of your butt as you pushed, and uh, we recommend these changes to make your pooping experience more enjoyable. Speaking of uh, examining, I did another thing oh. where I did uh, like a blood test uh, from some company. 
whose name escapes me now, mm. um, something well. Anyway, uh, where they test your food sensitivities to find out if you're like, oh, you're sensitive to this kind of food or not. And That's I found cool. out I'm sensitive to one food and only one food. And it's white. It is white, typically. You and it's one of my, it is, hate white and it is maybe my least favorite of all foods. So I'm fucking, it's such validation for me. I'm, I'm, I'm sensitive to yogurt. I should not oh. eat yogurt, which is fucking oh. why I hate yogurt. And I've hated it since kindergarten mm -hmm. when they made me have it for a fucking snack. And I was like, I don't like this. And they were like, eat your yogurt. And I ate all the yogurt. And then I threw up all over the easel and all over the girl who was doing art. And then I was fucking horrified and embarrassed and it ruined kindergarten for me. And I haven't eaten yogurt since. And that's why, because I'm sensitive to it. You talked about this in horse today. So this is I'm gonna put you in a bath of here's, yogurt. Here's the question: Between you know, the game, like if that's why you haven't eaten yogurt to this yogurt day, bath. is the the test? It was it like biological, or did it test your sensitivity because you just it's a sensitive subject? No, it's biological. Oh, okay, oh. I don't know if it was oh, yeah. like psychologically, yeah. you're sensitive. What's to yogurt, interesting to me? We want to bring it up around you. Why did this rage? We're talking like, about this girl you vomited on. I just, this is kind of interesting to me. Is yogurt not old milk? Kind of is. It's like aged. Milk with like yeah. aged and bacteria yeah. in it and certain bacteria. It's, 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 it's a sure. milk base. But like, so, delicious. But well, you don't have any reactions to milk. It's just yogurt. To <coughs> yogurt specifically. Yeah. That's so weird yeah. that like it changes fundamentally enough. Don't they say even, they even break it out like they have milk in there. They have egg whites and yogurt. egg yolk because yeah. they're different. Yeah. And you can have a sensitivity to like one and not the other. And I have like, I'm not really sensitive to any of that stuff, but yogurt is its own category. So, fuck you know. yogurt. Who says no, yogurt? Die British Hill. people? Probably everyone Someone except the U.S. Yeah, yeah. 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 probably are wrong. <laughs> Boom. Bam. Got him. Blasted. Roasted. I ate, picked yourself up off the floor. After Girded. That one. I hope people didn't. I hope people didn't think my <laughs> toilet Girded segment answer. was like hidden sponsorship for that Toto thing. I'm doing I just, it. Just has changed yeah. my fucking life. But if my they toilet. want to, I'll take one. Listen, if if I if Toto wanted to sponsor and throw me a toilet, I would pay to have the outlet. I had to pay to have an outlet installed in the shit box. That's that's the one. that's the the, give the, the wall there. You yeah. know, like it's more work beyond the toilet. Because it's a complicated, sophisticated piece of technology, okay? Needs electricity. Dude. And I, I believe it, like, you could probably, like, you know, the slap some shit together, but it's supposed to have its own line, like a dedicated circuit just for the toilet. The toilets, taking what? up a space. It needs what it needs. In your breaker I mean, box. It needs and what it like, needs. Listen, true. you so feed you me, me doo-doo, I also need to be fed power. Okay, I can't, I'm not, I can't do this off hopes and dreams. <laughs> that, was a, that part was a fucking nightmare I because I don't have a, like a really an attic or a crawl space in my house because of how old it is. Mm -hmm. And so they can't get up in the attic to hey, drop line. on the walls. So uh, they basically had to rip up a section of my wall this high all the way, like across three walls to get down to the toilet. It looked Jesus. like they were, it looked like money pit for a second. Yeah. Ugh. But they fixed it, it looks good now. Nice. But a lot, a lot of, a lot of effort went there into There is one of the, yeah, it is, it is, it's a lot of effort because it's not a place where you have a, an outlet. No, you never go in. Yeah. The, especially a poop box, bathrooms. It's like by the sink. Yeah, obviously for like you, right your, you know appliances, have to have toothbrushes, and whatnot. <clears throat> but uh, it's not normal to just have one boom right next to the toilet. It, I feel like it should be from now on. Easy as shit when you're building a house. Boom, throw one there, throw one there. Also, People just assume you're not going to get a, you know, an ass an, blaster. Put an outlet in every room. Yeah. Also, yeah, my house. Nice. Also, my also, yeah. my house has. Nice. I have walk, two walk-in closets. No outlets in the walk-in closet. Thank you. I it's also so fucking in the annoying. closet too. Yeah, yeah I had. I had to put it. I put put outlets in the Not closets when they were doing no. the shit room. We have one outlet in our master closet. First world problems. Am I right? It's true. Yes. Fucking nonsense. It's true. Crazy. But like, yeah. as you were describing, and I've thought about it before, but as you were describing it, we do have <laughs> one outlet in our um, master closet, which is on the opposite side of the wall of our bathroom, and I was just like. I could just punch a hole yeah. through the wall and steal it, like just steal the power. Good. But I don't know if it's an, I don't know, I don't know if it's enough. You know that blaster needs juice. Yeah, it's true. Well, because the thing too is like the outlet in my like closet that. is certainly already shared with something else. I have no idea what's plugged into it. You know, <coughs> but I might do it. You've you've renewed my my interest in butt blasting technology. It's worth it. Yeah. it, it yeah. Uh, you'll live longer, I assume. Oh, I know. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll live longer even if there's no like medical assume. benefits just because I'll want more days right, to spend with this thing. Clean. Like I'll fight to earn those Clean days. Butt butt I, need, right. I need more time with my Machine. life yeah. expectancy. Well, eventually Iris and Luna are going to oh go off God. and live their lives with the Toto is going to be there. Yeah. For yeah. Us. It'll never leave you. Forever. Yeah. I'll always be there, mm -hmm. or Reliable. like welcoming you with warm, uh, open Millie, arms. warm embrace. Millie has open four seat. more years till she yeah. fucks off into the adult world, and then it's just me in the toilet. <laughs> and Jeff's happy with. It. I like it. <laughs> What's up, Jeremy? 
What'd you get? I don't listen. I just typed in clean butthole life expectancy oh, into boy. Google to see if a clean butthole meant you'd live longer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I could see that being a study. Yeah. Stuff. Yeah. All I know is like six links down. The title of the article is gay guys. You're douching wrong. And I'm real interested in what the wrong and right oh, it's ways on, it's are. On you know? Oh, the picture's a douche and a peach. Yeah, it is. Nice. Look at it. There you go. <laughs> that that sums up the whole story right <laughs> yeah, there. Yeah. I like that you picture. So much was yeah. said. Man. So Beautiful. <laughs> What's been happening in Achievement Hunter World? I've, I've missed you guys. I haven't oh, seen you much. Just douching Especially around. Especially with the holidays. And Jeremy's stuff. been douching I've incorrectly. I've been douching yeah. up. Yeah. Wrong. Yeah. Wrong. And he's been feeling <laughs> the whole time. Like, guys, I don't feel well today. <laughs> Seems like... <laughs> like I did it wrong. <laughs> I shot everything up there. <laughs> Seems like your lasso's been going very yeah, well. Yeah, lasso's yeah. popping. We're doing yeah. another one tomorrow. That's New crazy. Alexandria's tomorrow. That's the one where you're in the Hornet the whole time. Ooh. And yeah. all right, oh, yeah. that one's gonna be a fucking nightmare. And I explained to you why, because yeah. um, that level works differently than every other level in that there's three main objectives that you get in a random order, like the Cleverera, the hospital, and like shutting off certain signals, random order. And then there's side missions between them, which they pick three <laughs> side missions from a pool of 10 possible ones. They give you three random of that list of 10. Okay. One of the skulls in Halo Reach is the blind skull, so we get no mission markers. So you're just in this open city in a hornet, and they go, oh, you gotta go defend so-and-so at this place as, like, a side mission. We're like, I don't know what that where, is. Where I have no that? idea where that <laughs> is. Kill everything. So we just gotta, like, find a guide somewhere to be like, yeah. if you get this specific side mission, it's here. If you get this specific one, it's here. Like, I know the, the larger points, they have, like, colored signs on the buildings there's like a blue light up thing a green one and an orange one so you're like that's the hospital that's, that's where this. i go and like I, that me go there color me yeah. go there you guys are shooting that tomorrow morning so if the stream starts late you know it's because of lasso that's why or just you know don't have the people playing lasso do the stream well we need how many people for we the stream need like six what are you playing on the stream? Uh, last year, the nightmare. This guy right oh, there. Yeah. He's free. Yeah. Uh, He's last year, the nightmare has a big new spider, yeah, spider yeah, demon thing. I'm pretty cool. Not free, free right. unfortunately. Yeah. I am there, filming here. commentary for <laughs> Fails of the Week tomorrow, though. Oh. Holy shit, really? Yeah. 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 God, you guys are bringing everything back. Yeah. I'm back in college. You're doing that? I looked at Jeremy when you guys were doing horse, and I looked at Jeremy and I said, you weren't born yet. As in your second life had As far as being important yeah your second life even was, even now i'm not sarah let me know that today it was she so hammered she, wow. was, she, yeah, hammered she was hard for no reason it she, was so funny to watch rough. to watch jack get mad at matt for like not making it clear how to play the files and stuff in in horse and be like fucking matt and then it was like the whole time i was like didn't you aren't you the one to figure this out the first time yeah. like didn't didn't you and i invent this show surely we should be able to figure it out we couldn't we did need that yeah, you yeah, guys. I, I mean, all it was was stream. you hit A on the file. That was it. Fine, it's a falcon, not a hornet. I'm sorry. Goodness. Jesus. It was very In confusing. Three periods. I, I didn't think I needed morning. to like explain Moron. to him how to use the Halo menu. <laughs> I no, thought he was versed. There was a. It's, th th we did have a moment though, uh, as you know, we were watching all your terrible Pokemon lose those battles. Um, <laughs> they're, they're good Pokemon. They're they trying. They're <laughs> trying. Why Let's does do one have a focus sash? Mine Pokemon don't have focus. Yeah, they do. Yeah, the no. fucking yeah, the oven Rotom. had it. Your Rotom has a focus. Rotom. Oh, oh yeah, it's the choice band. Choice. That's what I meant. You're right. Why choice he, I said the wrong thing. One. Why does he have that thing? Because he has trick. So you basically give the choice scarf to another Pokemon, and if Rotom goes first, that other Pokemon is locked into whatever move it used. Well, I would have been great with that little nugget of information. Well, so, I mean, actually, I knew it. Point at? Rotom knew it. He's done it several times. What's happening? <gasps> Jeff, I don't, I don't, Jeff. I don't, I'm not listening to it. Jeff, is that Peter Hughes? Jeff, no, it's Peter Hayes. Yeah, Peter Hayes. I, Jeff he, saying or Peter is saying that Jeff might be uh, <gasps> shortening his life. You're gonna die tomorrow. Oh, no. You know what? <laughs> if using if using warm water to clean my asshole go? lowers my life expectancy. That's it. fine because it's a better quality, life. Quality, that's quality fair. over quantity. That's fair. Also, I'm expecting to go early. Anyways. Also, depending on the ratio, right? Like how much life you're losing, that could have been life you were just gonna spend wiping anyway. It's true, right? Yeah. 
Yeah. So like it could even out. It could even out. It could even out. Like yeah, you lose it. Oh, good job. Nice pour. Look at that. Wow. That is my second angle pour. Wow. Love that. Okay. I'll have to wait. Well done. You can teach a class on how not to do what you do. No. Or you teach a class on how a bar makes money. Here's your beer. Here you go. One pure profit. Depending on the quality of water. That the system is oh, plugged. Oh, this is what you do. So. Oh, that's a filter it. I it's it comes. I forgot this part. Used by has, jugs. It has electrolyzed water, which makes it more sanitary. Life up, just two hundred. Yeah. I should have mentioned that. Shooting it's electrolyzed, electrolyzed water. Oh, yeah, yeah, it doesn't mean old man skin hanging off of whatever, blasting his butthole with electrolyzed water. Jeff's gonna be ninety with the butthole of a with essentially Gatorade. <laughs> Bam. I did. Whoa. I said Peter. I, I, I stumbled over my words and said Peter Hughes, not Peter Hayes. Peter Hughes. Peter Hughes. We don't know. We don't know who yeah, said it. To be fair, it's just Peter H. It's so many Hughes. Know which one it I is. didn't know if it was Peter Hayes or my friend Peter Hughes from high school. Oh, yeah. Hey, at, least, at least Horton oh, hears him. He's like, "Hey Jeff, how's that butthole doing? Miss you, bud." Miss you, bud. Uh, Miss you, bud. <laughs> Look how much no, beer. No, if you, if you met someone from high school, it. now, it's like no. Jeff, if you had a friend from he high school come back and see your butthole now, wouldn't even recognize wouldn't you. Wouldn't even recognize my butthole. They'd be like, that's Wait. not your butthole. That's not your, that's not the butthole I, know, I, grew I know exactly what you're you I still have my butthole yearbook. Is just was, everyone's butthole? I was about to ask everyone if they went to their high school reunion, but I'll stop myself. I doubt any of you. I did. How was it? Loser. Uh, I went, it was this past Thanksgiving. I went to my 10 year. Damn. Because wow. the other uh, captains of the gymnastics team were there, and I was like, uh, "See how they're doing, captain? How were they captains. doing? They were doing pretty well. It was yeah. nice to see him. Oh, there was one one guy I was talking to. I was friends with in like elementary school, and he was now he's now like a Boston cop, and uh, he was like, "Hey, so he's on the take. He's like, if you get in trouble, just let me know. Okay, you know, I like that. I'm like, I'll hold you to that. <laughs> I will hold you to that. And yes, the I will speech be in at the end to our class president." Who, you know, yeah. at the time, whatever. He gave the speech at the end. It was the most Boston thing I've ever heard. Did he end with go socks? No, but he, he, you know, <laughs> like he started it like we were in a in a bar somewhere and like the music was like super loud. It was like, it was one of those places where I was like trying to talk to people and catch up, but I was like, yeah. what? Like, I like trying to like, hear them. And, uh, and then he's like, hey, hey, everyone shut the fuck up for a second. Let me talk. And like, we, like he talked and then he's like, he's like, we had a great year. Like our class was amazing, and like everything, like you like went on for a while, and I was just like, "This is um, this awesome. is incredible." <laughs> That's great. Now, it's does awesome. your your friend who was the captain on the gymnastics squad? That's what you're saying. Yep. Is now a cop. Does he implement? No, his... no, he's not the cop. Oh, who is the cop? The cop was just another buddy. Oh, I was excited. Just for some him. guy. I just, yeah, really I, just wow. some guy. I really just want gymnast guy. cop. I just want someone. There is no gymnast <laughs> cop. Gym there cop? is no gymnast <laughs> cop. He sounds right. like the criminal one. One of them, I believe, like, writes. I gotta go to a meeting. <laughs> one of them is in the army now. I Thanks believe, for letting so. me sit in with you guys. Gymnast soldier. Good to there catch you know. up. I'll see you guys in another couple months. You know Bye, Jeff. Ta-ta. Bye, audience. Who doesn't know about the mass bubble? Yeah. And it's weird, like when I talk to people. You know, I went to the ten year and. I was like, you know, talking to a couple of people there and trying to catch up with them as best I could. It was definitely people like doing fucking cocaine in the bathroom. Oh, and shit. yeah. I'm like, nice. What? All right. It's, it's, a, it's awesome. a reunion. Oh, yeah. It was a reunion. Yeah. Uh, I remember all this. That was happening while I was in high school. Yeah, Are exactly. Reunion, I'm like, cute. I'm like, everything's the same. Yeah. Um, so I was, left. you know, talking to a couple of people and catching up. But it's so weird when I'm talking to people that I was in like fucking high school art class with. And, yeah. they're, and they're like, I, you know, our kids at this age now. And blah, blah, blah. I'm like, Fuck, that's weird. Yeah. Like everyone I know is having yeah. kids, man. Yeah. Two years ago, everyone was getting married. Now my friends, um, that's the progression. I, right? I was just at my friend's wedding, Hopefully. like over yeah. the Christmas break too. He has the same birthday as mine, like mm -hmm. so we both June fourth, and then he just had his son on June fourth. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> Goodness. In this weird, bizarre, bizarro <laughs> world, sharing a birthday. Dude, went to his wedding. Um, got trashed like mm -hmm. over christmas As and um and you know because it was it's a christmas wedding well yeah he had it on like december 28th or some something some people love that oh, i don't know because yeah. yeah, well i mean everyone was already home yeah. it's kind of That's nice true. for us that right sense. that makes sense so i uh went to the wedding you know and like during also during the goddamn wedding cat didn't even sit next to me well, wow yeah like i walked in well i was yeah. walked in i was, I was talking to my friends like and my friends were all Exactly the same. Like I talk about me and my friends, you know, lighting pallets on fire, yeah. making these like going so nuts, the catching on fire. At the wedding. Yeah. 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 Dude, exactly the same. So I walk in, I'm like talking to them, except one of my friends has a girlfriend now, and Kat starts talking to her, 
and then they like we're going to sit down the aisle they go off to the end together and they're like hey you guys sit down there and so like me and my buddy are just sitting next to each other Damn. not near our my wife and his girlfriend yeah. and he looks <laughs> at me and he's up. like also we're all very wide human beings crammed in these like little seats <laughs> next to each other and Dude, he goes wedding seats are tiny yeah, yeah they were yeah. tiny and he's like I guess it's better than them hating each other. I'm like, yeah, you're right. Yeah. You know what? They like each other. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah, so then, usually you sit next to your significant other unless that person's in the wedding party, then they have a yeah. separate nope. table. That they were just down at the end, ghosted. having a great time. Okay. Um, then, you know, obviously the reception bit kind of started. It was the, the super fast wedding, a couple minutes over. And uh, go to the reception thing, and I just start, you know, Slamming Second. back, whatever. We were right near Wachusett, which has its own Whatever brewery, and they and Wachusett Who's beers there? makes okay. great beers. I highly recommend them. Um, so I'm like a bunch of beer, whiskey, and everything. Slamming it back. Eventually, the bar closes, and the reception's coming to an end. The hotel has a bar that's open until like 2 a.m., mm. but they like close off the bar for the reception specifically. So we're like, let's just go to the bar, like keep the thing going. I'm like, fuck yeah, hell yeah. And uh, my friend, who's the groom, uh, is he goes, yeah, I'm going to go change out of this first, and then I'm going to go to the bar, and we'll like, continue the party. I'm like, good idea, I'm going to do the same thing. We go up to our room, change, and I'm coming back down, and I start stumbling through the hallway toward the bar. And I'm like, oh, fuck. Like, I've had way more than I thought I had. Like, I'm already it's kind of caught up with it. I better yeah. get to the bar quick and drink uh, more. Yeah, no, I was <laughs> like that. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, like, I'm already kind of like, oh, I don't wanna, I don't shit, I'm a little off, so like, I get into the bar and you know, they're playing music I love and everything. And like, they have all the watch use of beers on tap and I'm like, fuck yes. All right. So I start drinking a bunch of those, um, you know, eating my friend's nachos when he's not looking. Someone said you went full liquor goblin. So. I went liquor goblin. <laughs> I, I literally was like dancing up to the, the bride's yes. mom, who's yes. like my favorite person in the world. She's like the nicest human being You're I've ever known. You're that dude at the wedding. Yeah, well, yeah. like, cause the thing is it was, my friend uh, was the groom, and then my best friend, who was in my wedding party, his sister was the bride. Mm. So it was like very, I knew everyone. Yeah. So yeah, sure enough, the mom's like dancing on the floor, and I'm like, and like I go, I'm like, I'm dancing with her and stuff. <laughs> so anyways, we get into the, the bar in the hotel, it's like midnight, and I just start sucking them back again, and I'm dancing around. When we finally leave, Kat and I go up to the hotel room, and I'm like, I don't know how gone I am. I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna end up in the tub, but the tub's right there. Yeah. You know that tub's always an option for me the when I'm drinking. Clearly, yeah. Tub you know. at that moment. But I was like, mandatory for I was like, it's, I don't want to get down to tub time. Yeah, and I was like, <laughs> I don't want to get in the tub unnecessarily. So I just ended up putting a towel on the floor in the bathroom and falling asleep on it. Why? And so I was yes. just asleep on it. I'm sure there was a perfectly good bed. Right. Oh, like there was a couple feet away. There was sure, two right? perfectly good beds. Christ. So according to Cat. She walked into the bathroom at like 1, 2 a.m. or whatever and was like, I gotta go to the bathroom, get out. Who the fuck out? And I went into the bed and fell asleep. I remember none of that. As far as I'm concerned, I teleported from drunk Jeremy <laughs> to awake in a bed comfortable at like 8 a.m. Yeah. And I felt great. I was like, this is, that's the best thing I've ever done. It was like sleep gets, in a bed when you're drunk. Yeah. yeah. Well, like, no, Insane, wake right? up in a bed <laughs> having not gone to sleep in said bed. I just teleported to a bed and also time traveled into the future hmm. wow. without with no memory of cat waking me up is on that, a bathroom isn't that floor. Sleep in general, time yeah. travel yeah. because, yeah. because yeah. as far yeah. as yeah. I yeah. know, wake like, up and earlier. No, because I was somewhere else. I wasn't on the floor anymore. I was in a nice bed. Dude, was like, a, a fever will do that to you. And then Kat had a hangover Easy. and I didn't. Yeah. I was like, this is the best day ever. Yeah, awesome. She didn't start on the floor. Damn, dude. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> that, that's that it. it. She started in the bed. That yeah. was the mistake. You gotta, you gotta yeah. get that like, floor oh. cleaner smell yeah. right yeah. up in I love that. Oh, oh, I, I envy it. you that you still have that ability because I used to have that where I'd get fucking trash and then wake up the next day and go, I'm good, let's go. Oh, Not anymore. No. no. Second pregnancy? Uh uh. You're done. Too. Oh, if I'm I were scared Kat, of that, then I would have yeah. I would have lied wrong. and said I carried you. I'm like I'm that strong. I carried. I you lived you new. Mm. She <laughs> said, "Get out." <laughs> I went. Placed you down Just, upon that yeah. bed. Push you out. Yeah, Cat like, also you, sounds you like out. me. <laughs> if you're drunk and lying, there, I'd be like, "Fuck off." Get no, Cat oh, is way, way more uh, nurturing to Jeremy oh? than you. What yeah. 
Let's she like hooks him up, and she's like, "I got you. I'll cover you. You know, give make me sure your you don't drown." Of me when I'm this and that. She makes sure I don't drown quite often. Right. I mean, my impression that's a full time job like, for her. I fuck off. I'm going to bed. Like I'm just like, and she's just like, leave me alone. I'm going we're to bed. We're talking about that on the day because we no, went she to, doesn't give a shit. We went to dinner downtown, right, and um, kind of recently, and Kat and I got there very early, um, and mm-hmm. so we just started walking around. You know, we're like, oh, we might as well just like, like we had a valet like park our car, and we were like, all right, I guess we'll just walk around the blocks a couple of times until it's time to go in and have a drink. So we start walking around, and uh, we walk past. The I think it's called the Sunset Room, where the where Off Topic was mm-hmm. live before the Pennsylvania trip, and um, we're walking by there, and Kat goes, "I remember this place," and I'm like, "I don't," and uh, <laughs> you know, we're walking by, it, and she's pointing out like, "This is where Eric like helped me get the car around as we dragged you out of the building and put you in." Like she was like showing me like step for step, and um, and she said that she got me home that night after that Off Topic. And she ended up calling Katie and being like, Katie, can you please bring like, can you go and get me and bring me like Gatorade and this and that? Because I don't want to leave Jeremy here because he'll drown himself. (laughs) (laughs) Because I'm obviously in the tub like. (laughs) That's that's fair. (laughs) It's not fair. And I'm like, I'm I take care of Kat. Kat will, if she gets gone enough, she'll fall asleep in the shower. Like not in our so warm in the shower. Yeah, I don't yeah. get what like, it is because I introduced it to her. Bath, and now, bath, and now bath, she's yeah. addicted. Yeah. Stop! No, I'm there with bath. She's but how to... how shower? How are you fall? We asleep? have like one of those square <laughs> showers with no <laughs> lips or anything. Anywhere. It's just a curtain. It's just a square and a shower. Yeah. And I'll just find her sitting in it. Oh well, yeah, you know, I thought you meant like, which is far more. less dangerous. Yeah, well, like the water won't pull up. Hot water on my back. It's so that's, that's like it's a, not, yeah, but, but that's what I do up. with the tub. It's just every now and again the the drain will get blocked and then I'll almost drown. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but like you know, so it's the same. I mean, I take care of her. It's just far more rare. But you know. The wedding was fun. <laughs> it sounded like you had a fucking blast. It was a great time, dude. It would see my friends again. It was so nice. I was like, you guys haven't changed. I love it. That reminds me, talk about, again, um, Off Topic Live. So we're doing the um, H Live <coughs> tour. Yeah. So the uh, okay. that last one was yeah, right. Yeah, last one, you, you let a couple pass. Mm-hmm. And then you yeah. look. Matt's getting tub um, ready. Yeah. So the... Uh, there's oh, so it's sick. uh the first set of uh tickets are on sale for um what is it it's in it's on seattle la san francisco well i don't know which ones are up right now <clears throat> what do you what do you mean for age live which tickets are up aren't i think they, they're all up. aren't they all yeah. Yeah. are they all up? and i think even the off topic live is up that's been announced no it's too. not oh that's not that's, up yet. i'm it's gonna talk about off topic live it's basically it's it, been announced it's, it's mm-hmm. an addition to i don't have the shit about age live because that's that's trevor or jack can do that but uh this is basically to coincide with uh, AH Live. We've got an off topic live in LA. It's on uh, Saturday, March 14th, 8 p.m. to 11 p.m. And uh, tickets go on sale January 21st for first members, January 23rd for general public. So, two weeks from today, general public goes on sale. Mm. But I'm going to bring that up. So, if that's something you also want to check out, if you're in LA, if you're going to Age Live, or if you're not going to Age Live, maybe you just want to show up to Off Topic. Maybe, you know, you from now on, you will find out where Jeremy got dragged out of the place and loaded into a vehicle. I can't guarantee I'll get drunk at the you place. You can't guarantee, but, but you, you can't guarantee you, you won't. Chances are high. Chances Hotel are high. bats are my favorite you know, to sleep chances in. Chances are high. <laughs> you know? They never run they, out of hot water. It's awesome. I'm not paying for it. I mean, I don't know, like, Kat's going to come with you or not, but, like, Yeah, she will be at every show. Oh, that's perfect, then. Because if not, I'm like, maybe that's a bit of an ask. We get to the hotel, you know, we'll do, like, a wake-up call, and it's like, hey, um, can I just arrange a thing where, like, at 2 a.m., can you come get me off my bathroom uh, floor and put me in the bed? Because I'm going to get really drunk and I'm going to lay in the tub. And I'll try and roll out of the tub, and I'll maybe I'll just like wear some Listen, boxers. Listen, I did the maybe whole Australia the tour and didn't die. Um, um, I can oh, make it. We were, but that's what we're doing God, our next off-topic. Putting lives. them down. <laughs> Two questions for this side of the table. Yeah. What is the craziest thing you did that you don't remember from a night of drinking that someone told you about no, after? Oh, 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 no, okay. she's saying like <laughs> the stories like, after. Hey, by the way, this happened. You went, uh, n- no recollection okay. whatsoever. Or what is the craziest thing that you have done while drunk that you remember that you could absolutely not do now because we are older 
and aged and decrepit. Man, it, it's That's... weird. As many times as I've been drunk and been gone, I'm not, I'm not one for doing like really insane things while I'm drunk. Like I feel like I'm just kind of me, but unfiltered. Hmm. If that makes any sense. Yeah, no, I, I get that. I know I have friends who've done really crazy things, but like, I, I feel like I'm pretty normal, honestly. Yeah, I, I know the only thing that I rem I didn't remember doing this, but my friends told me it happened. I got kicked out of a movie theater because I got like really drunk before we went to see The Hobbit. Oh, so you can ask what movie <laughs> it was. That's great. Yeah. The Hobbit. Was. The Hobbit. And, well, oh, it, it, it was like great. It was like a rough time. Like I had a bunch of shit go wrong, and I was like, I'm just gonna get drunk. Fuck it. And they watch these shit. little guys run around. Yeah. So at the end of it, I apparently yelled at the birds because I was like, "Why the fuck didn't he call the birds? The goddamn beginning, the dangers and shit." And apparently, people cheered, and I got kicked out of the movie theater. Nice. And that was all I remember. Well, I remember yeah, and I got yes. no one the cheers were in your head. No one cheered. That happens a lot. <laughs> <Yeah. That happens. laughs> oh, somebody was cheering. No. Yeah, somebody was. Yeah. I remember. Yeah. Some, I like. I swear. <laughs> some of us cheering, man. I swear was happening. Fredo? Might have been me. Uh, I've always known my limit when it comes to like drinking, so I've never like blacked out. A dude or... with glasses would say that. Oh, yeah. Just, I have a great yeah. photo. I have to start wearing these, yeah. man. My eyesight's going. I'm looking at screens all. Day. We were we were when we were streaming no today. And, oh, when we were streaming today, and Fredo <laughs> walked in. I was like, look at this nerd. You weren't even on camera. I said the uh, same Fredo thing. Came in came in. And it was like one. Like, why are you here and why isn't Matt here? It was confusing. And we I answered him Matt with up. just screams. <laughs> And then yeah. also I was insulting him because he was wearing glasses. So he just had this look. It was weird. I set Matt up. He was playing Pokemon. I left, filmed the show, came back, and it was just you two assholes on the couch. And I was like, <laughs> if I you guys are here. And I was like, you're in control of Matt's Pokemon. This he just is, kept going, where's is Matt? And we go, were, he got called they were, up. They were, they were, I was like, I don't know what the fuck that means. What's a heaven? <laughs> <laughs> no, he got called up. We're, he's going to say, where's replacements? <laughs> Do you normally need glasses, or is it just for screens? Uh, no, it's just for screens. Okay, yeah. see, I feel you. I don't normally need glasses. I don't like wear contacts or anything. Right? It's just... Too. Things are know. starting to get who wants fuzzy them? around. What's Jeremy's side. photo? I'm going to send a photo that's to someone. Who do I send it to? Tyler. 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 Okay, it's back to Tyler. Sam? All right. That's that was like so the, who Jeremy I was trying to be coy. They told me to ruin my vision. They were like, "It's fuzzy around the outside. You should get glasses." And then after that, ruined. Oh, Damn. I could nice. see perfectly before these glasses. I just got headaches and motion yeah? sickness, yeah. and now no, I know. So, yeah. those uh, blue blocking glasses they help. It's like worse than it was before. Now that I've taken exactly. Well, that's, you well, get dependent. That's also how well, yeah, work. but yeah. that's how they work, and that's, that's how your vision yeah, improves. Is they adjust to the lenses. Damn. So then, when you take them yeah, off, yeah. they're worse than they were, but have you, they're still yeah, better so with I'm, lenses. I have a yeah. great have you ever? Have you, you've had glasses for a while before, right? Like yeah. before all the, the surgery. Have you ever gone in after years and gotten like a new prescription and then been sick for like a week after? Years. Oh, okay, that's just no. me. No, <laughs> yeah. I've also since I ever wore glasses, never. Waited years. Yeah, I just, usually yeah, it's like I just, once a year I, do a checkup. It's, I just well, forget. I think it's I. Yeah, I mean your prescription. Uh, yeah. Your prescription's only good for a year. It's a real racket they got. Yeah, your prescription's only good for a year. It's good for way. But longer. it's really how long until my glasses are fucked up? Exactly. Yeah. Right, because it's like. Your glasses last longer than a year, and depending on your eyes, like glasses are expensive, dude. Yeah, like with my astigmatisms, yeah. my glasses were about three, four hundred. You know, somewhere in between there. Well, that was like when I went and got these, I think it'd been like three years, and for a week I couldn't drive. <coughs> like I was like puking wearing these. Oh, they yeah. were, it was terrible. Then they called yeah. you up and they were like, Hey, sorry, we gave yeah, you the wrong prescription. Yeah, yeah. yeah. oh, I do get a little I got glasses Tyler, don't worry today. about the second one, just the first one. <laughs> Opposite effect for me, Matt. <laughs> I still have to adjust because I don't wear these enough. So every time I put them on, I'm like that's what I was wondering yeah, why you're exactly, wearing them right now. Exactly, it's how it like And then I'm not used to wearing them with like headphones. So like mm -hmm. if I'm like gaming, it's annoying. Like yeah. They're annoying. Like, I was like, ah, oh, it's like they're annoying. Stop. If they're not prescription though, do you just wear them right now for vision as well, or to read those screens? Or I mean, I oh, okay. have it on so that my my just eyes get it. like really like tired. Oh okay. And they get really sore. That's the I'm other one. Tyler. Screens all day. Got you. So the screens lead to the effect. Not yeah. for me. It's like because I'm looking at this screen right now. I have a headache. I need glasses. We got to the bottom. Uh, of, well, not the bottom of it. I wear them enough. 
we sorted out some of your motion sickness of like you were talking to me yeah. about it today. <laughs> I mentioned it this morning because yeah. we, we played murder, which was awesome. And it I was like, like the one of the funniest murders we've done <laughs> ever. Really funny. It was so funny. The but last I finally one like pinpointed like what triggers my really bad motion sickness whenever I'm watching people play video games. Because if it's a first person game, I will get sick after a while because you're whipping around like crazy and there's all this stuff happening, especially in prop hunt. That's the worst. There's yeah. objects flying everywhere. But if I get knocked out of a round and I go into spectator mode, that's when it kills me. And Jeremy pointed out, and it's totally true. It's, it's because you can't predict the motions. Mm -hmm. Because yeah. someone else is moving for you, yep. and your brain can't predict. Like, it's not saying, I'm going to look right, and then it looks right. It's it, all of a sudden, it's whipping <laughs> around. Mm -hmm. yeah, ahead, Especially right. Alfredo, because Alfredo is like MLG. So he's like, oh. Yeah, Alfredo's yeah. all over the place. Dude, have you? No wasted movement. It's a big thing. Have you ever watched Monkey Ball at all? Yeah, no. I used to play that. Yeah, monkey like, ball? you can play Monkey Ball easy, right? Uh, I can, yeah. Watch someone else play that game for five seconds. You'll, you'll <laughs> Don't do a Let's Play Monkey Ball. That's yeah. a video. <laughs> no, it's not. It oh, is. Just oh, said why it's not. Yeah, okay, Fredo, do you remember this? This was, <laughs> you and I got hammered in Sydney and I found this on my phone. Yes. We found this random sculpture and- How do you know your limits now, Fredo? Clearly, I've handed my phone to someone it. else. We walked past it. I don't remember hugging it. I don't know who has my phone <laughs> in this photo. Awesome. Look at us. It's so <laughs> much it's joy. So I found this on my phone, Alfredo's wandering so through Sydney. Yeah, I was, awesome. I was nice. gray, I had gray hair. And I have, I sent them, I ended up sending Tyler three photos, but the third one I sent was also like, right before, wait, it was you and me, that, look yes. at us. <laughs> that was <laughs> just before being gone. <laughs> it's us at a community meeting. That's you screaming, it's happening. Yeah. It's, it's happening! This <laughs> is a great example of the meme that's been going on recently. Where it's like, you're at a party and you see a photo someone takes of you and you're like, oh my god, it's amazing, post it. And then you look the next day and you all look like yeah. garbage. I, you're just like, yeah. awful. I'm looking through like, my oh phone god. and I'm like, what the hell? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we went. Hard. We you were look doing like you're like jumping. So like many the whole shots, crowd. and then we were just. Oh, like, we were, dude. I was we standing did not somewhere. Stop. I think we, I, get, we gave it our all. Stop. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> With the blonde hair, <laughs> looking yeah. good, man. I, I, I missed that color. Stop. Why? <laughs> Why? Yeah, that's twice today. Stop it. That's you the one where I was behind the DJ desk. Yeah. Yeah. We got that, right up yeah. on there, and started singing. I always find an elevated spot when I do these community meetups in bars. I find elevated spots and like to stand up there. Oh, Did you nice. find them early? Yes. I'm coming back there later. Yeah, I go, I'm going, I'm going there. And well, then I go there. You have the benefit, Alfredo kind of too, is you both are like very like hype men oriented. So if you get drunk, everyone's just going to go around and go like, yeah, 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 yeah. Woo! yeah. For me, everyone, like I want to have this connection too, but we want to like talk about life and like what our joys are, what our hobbies are. But if I'm trash, it's like, What's do you like to knit? I like yeah, to that's knit. I love <laughs> knitting. <laughs> you welcome that behavior. And if, it. and if I'm drunk, I'm gonna be like, yeah, dude. Oh, I, yeah. Oh, I, dude, God. knitting sounds you great. Pearl? It's another good yeah. one. Yeah, way. I know. I, uh, I gotta you, wait. By the end of the show, it's you might have a beer. Like one beer. Okay. Okay. I uh, think unbelievable. <laughs> I. I bring a certain energy to the community meetups. One of my favorite videos I've ever seen. Someone posted it on Tumblr or something after one of our community meetups. It was, and I think it was in Sydney, because I think Sydney's the one where I called you and I was like, hey, I'm still at this bar. Do you want to come join yeah, me? I ran on over. And you ran over. I texted Jeff first and I was like, Jeff, come here. And he wrote, ha ha ha, no. Yeah. <laughs> so he didn't come over. But Fredo did. But at the it was me and Ryan going for because it was three different bars in sydney and they sent like pairs of achievement yeah, hunters to each bar pairs. and you were with trevor and someone else i think but um i was with, I was with ryan who obviously doesn't drink but like we go into this bar sure enough i found this elevated area and um someone took a video of like ryan and a group of people around ryan and me and a group of people around me and they're filming ryan and he's talking to someone and he's like yeah, so like our computers do this, and then like we can run this on there, and we can all hear each other in the setups, and blah, blah blah blah. And the camera whips over, and I have one foot up on a table, and I'm holding a glass of whiskey in the air, and our whole group is going, "No, Savenya!" This great like whip pan over to us all screaming, and singing to a whiskey. <laughs> it's yeah. like, so good. that's why I almost got lost in Australia. Yeah, that was we, we lost it at Burger King. Yeah, we we wandered yeah. up to Burger King because we were all hungry, and I said there and i was like i was like well, we're all drunk and i was like i need to pee and so i was like I, grabbed, I walked out with the intent of going back to the hotel 
and the hotel was like maybe two blocks down. Yeah. So I'm sitting there. I'm singing in my head like, oh man, great. <laughs> I got this. It was great. It was By awesome. the way, two like somebody, down. somebody was cheering. Two like <laughs> someone, I heard someone cheering. took us to the burger. It's crazy. Our handlers. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then after like ten minutes, I was like, it ain't this far. And I, was like, <laughs> and I was like, and then I was like, shit, I'm lost. But Fredo, you're a genius. You've just been walking straight. Just Turn go around, back the other direction. Go. And I started walking is, back. Is Sydney a grid pattern too? I mean, that's easy. It to is navigate. kind of a grid pattern, yeah. yeah. Very easy. We like, found Alfredo on a corner if, when we were walking. Yeah, no, I was in the corner waiting for a light. And just I just hear Jeremy. I hear and see Jeremy across the street. Jeremy's like, did no one go back with Fredo? And I was like, I'm right here. <laughs> I walked well, the Fredo, Fredo just goes, I found. My, my exact words were, in the Burger King, I had placed my order, I came back to our handlers, basically, and I was like, where's Fredo? And they were like, oh, he had to go to the bathroom, so he went back to the hotel. And I just went, we will never see this man again. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. He's gone. Luckily, from my experience at least, you're in Australia, people are generally friendly. Yes. They'll probably help you, whereas if you were in New York, you're you dead. Could, you could oh, find your way I'm back. You'd probably die yeah. on the way there. You'll die. So, yeah. <laughs> Same energy as we. What is this? Oh, is this yeah. from the, the time? What? Uh, what, what is happening? Yeah. What are you? Something? This is like strange things of the. Was oh, this during the Sydney chips. thing? I think it was like chips or something like that. Like your snacks. Who knows, people, man? Like, people <laughs> gave us snacks. Oh, people are obsessed so, with giving us. Look, see how much taller I am than Fredo. I had found something to stand on. You wore those shoes. You got the. You got the big shoes on Awu. The shoes, yeah. I didn't wear them in the Awu, but you didn't wear them. Trevor was wearing them for a while, which was insane. Yeah. They got to be like five inches. At They're least. probably about five yeah. inches. They're like elevator shoes. Because you put them on, and like you and I were the exact same height. I was oh, looking man. you two in the eyes. It was eye. so bizarre. Jeremy put the shoes on, and I laughed in his face. Because yeah. it's just like for so the first time ever. <laughs> yeah. She laughed in your face. You did. And you, you said something, you were like, this could be real. I was like, <laughs> this I what could have been? Went, what could have been? What could have, this could have been reality. It's so weird to not see the top of your head. <laughs> I was like, whoa. It was wild. Weird. That's, weird. that's, weird. that's weird. also why I estimated it's about five inches. Because yeah. I was like, that's, they're huge. And I was I just walking. I was walking around like this is awesome. I don't know how tall Trevor is. But he's got to be like close to six, six. foot, like yeah, five eleven or six foot. Six. He's, I think he's so, six, six at least. So, yeah, yeah there you go. six one. Six he one. was like six five in those things. It was huge. <laughs> yeah, it was weird. I was just like, and like that's the thing. I put them on. I was average height. You know what I mean? Like that's why we were talking recently about that like procedure. To make yourself yeah, taller, like you break your bones, they like break your femur and then they put a yeah. thing in and then they yeah. like turn it and then oh, your femur sounds, heals. They and do then the they, old break and stretch. Yeah, no, and then they break the it again and stretch. And you can, because you could get like an inch. That's the thing. <laughs> you can get an and I was like, you can get like two inches from that. Imagine if I did that and I went through this insanely painful procedure where they break my fucking yeah. femur over Just and over again so I could be 5'6". So <laughs> <That's laughs> can you imagine that? Yeah, like fuck off. Here's Trevor in it, yeah. So it's tall. like he's already a significantly taller than me. Who's the tallest in Achievement Hunter? Uh, it's got to be someone like Trevor, right? Like six two is the max for everybody. I would say six two. I would say Jeff or Ryan. I thought is, that was Ryan. Isn't Ryan six two? Ryan's probably yeah, the tallest. He's, I, think he's I think he's two. At least, yeah. I mean, him and Jack are probably pretty close. I think Jack's taller than I think Jack. Was above he? six two. They gotta I put the know. shoes on. Gus is six two. Also, but he walk. He usually sits like Bigfoot. So yeah. he's like it's arched. <laughs> yeah. You like should be six five arms. though. Let's do it. Absolutely. I've seen you Gattaca. They can do it. Go they for it. Gattaca. Gattaca. Well, but I just have like <laughs> it's happening. I have like fucking four foot femurs. Like <laughs> yeah. Jesus. You're exactly the That's same. That's a band name right just there. Four foot femurs is a great name. This thing I could imagine. That's a great band name. Oh man, if I was tall, the world would, the universe would. I'd be afraid of what you do like yeah. you'd, i'd be a wrestler nah, but it'd be so different though well, not with like the jeremy's fingers. like short and like compact though like he wouldn't have that like like wrecking ball energy oh no i'm, not I'm condensed out. i'm condensed yeah. anger yeah. he wouldn't yeah. fight people but he would abuse his tall power i'm just somehow. saying it'd, absolutely it'd just, be totally, it'd just be totally different like this imagine here now right imagine not Deal only not only jeremy tall but like suddenly tall he'd like be falling over all the time oh, that's your true. center of I'd balance hit my head on you'd like go to time. shove gavin and just fall over you'd like push yourself over like holy <laughs> shit where's like all a, this there'd be an adjustment period what if it's like a like mike scenario but with shack like that's your height now oh my god how tall is he now Who's, I don't know, like eight feet. How tall yeah, is he now? Eight. No, is he getting bigger. Or like, yeah. Yeah. Like, like, he's he's How tall every is he every now? general That's commercial, he, he gets uh, an inch taller. People shrink every general commercial. <laughs> 
How tall do you want to be? How tall would I want to be? Yeah, if you had like sky's the limit. Oh no! <laughs> Whoa, you can be as tall as the sky, oh, man. You Whoa. heard of Godzilla? <laughs> I would want to be like five ten. There we go. Probably five ten. Five ten. I mean, like here's the thing: people are always like, now. I was, I was only people are like, go for foot. six. Shoe like, size twenty. Men, men that are six foot. Like, well, I'm like, I just want like just give me five ten. It's still half a fucking there foot. You, you know, That's I'd be lot. all about it. I'd love it. It's a lot. Really would. New yeah. world I, flights, though. I I have a whole new world of like yeah. if I wanted to be an actor, a, a ton more parts I could do. They're like, sorry, we don't need a we don't need another. Oh, like, yeah, yeah, you go if you were an actor, because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you're not. But like, you said, yeah, but I, actor, but I, I would, I'd be more inclined to go for it. it woke, I know it's worthless. If you now. woke up tomorrow <laughs> and you were taller, you you'd go. I could be an actor. Yeah, <laughs> I, like, I could be an actor. <laughs> I, could, I could be a hustler. I could do so many things. I could be now. You have it. The complete opposite way. Every dude I know who's in Hollywood is short. Like you are the perfect. That's specimen not right accurate. Now. Yes. That's not accurate. Tom, Tom five Cruise five is fucking, and under. Tom five, Cruise five is fucking and under. five six. Enough. He's a pretend <laughs> short man. <laughs> All right, he's Pretend not. He wishes he was man. short. I Fuck did. off, Cruz. God, this is so inaccurate. This is funny, and I know this is wrong. Just the other day, because somebody posted something and it had Jack's height on it, and it was wrong. I saw it. But someone in the chat says, per the internet, Jeff is 5'10". Not wrong. wrong. No. I mean, not right. Not, Sorry. not even close. He's definitely at least six foot. Ryan yeah. is six foot, which is probably close. He's six or six one. And Jack is 5'11 and a half. Oh. Also grossly inaccurate. Incorrect. I don't know, somebody just made these numbers up, but they're all probably at least six foot. All three of them. Jeff's probably the shortest of the three of them. But... They're tall. Michael They're tall. The Everyone's very tall. Bernie's fucking tall. Gus is tall. We finally sorted out in, in Chump that we recorded guys. Wednesday, which you were on it. And it was by far, I think, it was the funniest episode yet. It was so fucking funny. Poor Hannah. Yeah. Hannah, was, <laughs> Hannah got creamed yeah. by because we had three excellent I liars I sympathize, on. Hannah. But we put, we had, you know, we have the three podiums for the deceivers. And... You know, I'm obviously closest to one of them, that first podium there. We put Chris at it instead of Miles or Alfredo. Chris is the shortest one. I'm like, this makes sense. It's not jarring. The first three episodes, we put the tallest person and we had <laughs> Gus and then we had Jeff and then I forget who else we had there. But it was like, they were insanely tall compared to me. It looked ridiculous on, in the wide shot. It sounds like broadcast is doing you dirty. They were. Yeah. Know what they're doing. And I was yeah. like, can we not have That's Jeff? They, they, they're like, yeah. Jeff's they there. They prepped that purpose. for 17 hours sure. before you shoot the episode. They knew what they were doing. They have, like, they pull up their, like, spreadsheets. <laughs> you they're doing to make Jeremy right look like an ant over Your there. Fault. I'll tell you right now, too, the biggest example that I've seen in real life of Hollywood movie magic making someone short, tall, is Bev from It. I forget the actress's name because I'm horrible. But we saw them at a convention, and she is tiny, tiny, yeah. tiny little girl. And she's, she's like three feet tall. Yeah. Gandalf's not as tall as he looks in the movie. He's also not. He's, not. he's also not. He's no, not. she's very short. She's cool. so short. That I, I was great, great I was standing next to her at the convention at one point. She was getting coffee. I looked over to say something, and I went, "Oh, hey, what's up? <laughs> Hello." She's nice insanely to see you. just uh, not even just short. A small human, mm -hmm. just like a compact human. But they make her seem like the tallest one. Yeah, she yeah. seems like the tallest you know, Tom yeah. Cruise. Yeah. Apple like, box you or? have stuff to work with. If you're already tall, fuck you. You're gonna ruin everything. We have to put everyone else on Apple boxes. No, get out of here. We want the short people. I also in think yeah. Yeah. if I was tall, you're right. There's she's one versus eight. I mind. think if I was tall, right? If I was taller, I could eat. What? As Why? much as I'm eating, like, or like, I could eat mm -hmm. more and not oh. gain weight oh, yeah. because yes. I've got more yeah, area. But, I feel like right now I need to be so conservative with the but, things that I eat. Jeremy, you, 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 you pop less if you're tall. I don't think that's accurate. It is accurate. I think if I worked True. out the same amount I work out now, I'd still no, pop. No, if you're if your biceps and people are will be like, look at that tall guy, not like yeah. oh. If your arms are longer, your biceps are longer. Everyone that I know that rounded. is shorter, it's, it's easier for true. them to bulk up and like actually show. It's definitely like, yeah, easier yeah, for me to bulk up than something. It's just like because I was tall. That's why if Matt was your size, he'd be his biceps would be twice as he'd large be as yours. Dead, is what I feel like. True. Can I say who's on Jump next week? Yeah, it's your do show. It. Do whatever yeah. you want. Oh God, Don't oh ask God, them. Oh God, oh God, Leave your life. Oh God, say it. Oh God. Okay. Do it. All right. Do it. I'm going to go for it. Hey, look at that little thing right there. Hey, Chump's live again. We came back from a little break uh, yesterday, and it was really funny. We had a lot of funny people on. But we're back next week, and you should watch that one live and be part of the audience. Lindsay's on it. 
It's true. She's one of the people on it. I'll Trevor will be on it, trying to guess what? who's uh, lying and who's telling stuff. And Jeremy, what was... I'm so excited to be on Chump. Is that a lie? You don't know? You, who knows? You know? We know. Probably. Oh, well, we, we have an idea. Uh, <laughs> but one of the other deceivers, fucking Troy Baker, oh, is going to be on there telling some lies or telling some truths, and we'll hear about his past and yeah, stuff Trevor's like that. Be able to He's read from him. Dallas, too. Trevor, and Trevor has to try to read him. So best of luck to Trevor <laughs> and Collins, because that's going to be a rough one. But yeah, Wednesday oh. next week, you can watch it live. I'll only say it because someone mentioned it, and I know her, big fan, uh, Sheremy Lee, voice actress who's also in Ruby and a million other things. Thank mm -hmm. you very much. She is tiny, too. Lovely, lovely person, but very, very small. That's why I'm trying to get into voice acting, because I'm like, it, you it's act. Look however you want. I'm like, it's, it's acting, but no one sees me. I made a joke <laughs> at a convention. So you can any size. <laughs> someone was inviting over the Ruby cast, and like, you know, Barbara and Aaron and Kara, very, very attractive women, and then there's me, and I'm like, eh, like that's what I do. That's me. So <laughs> they invited us over, and they're like, we have the cast of Ruby here. It's very lovely ladies. So I was like, jokes on you. I'm a voice actor. What's up? All right. <laughs> nice to meet you. Yeah. <laughs> You go with the the Patton Oswald. Uh, uh, oh yeah. What did you say? The, the hell? character actors. Yeah. No one gives a fuck if we're fat. Yeah. <laughs> so true. Bless you, Patton Oswald. What? Oh, goodness. <laughs> Bless. He's doing what a good guy. work. He's doing good work. He's a good rat. True. It's Ratatouille. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Sure oh, is. He He's Remy. No, Matt is mind blown. I, I completely forgot. Whoa. Ratatouille's right like, what? holy shit. What? It's he was... been so long since yeah. I've seen Ratatouille. Yeah. yeah. He has a whole stand up bit about being Ratatouille and how it was so weird for him because his stand up is very R rated. <laughs> And he's like, I'm doing these interviews he's, where a kid's interviewing me. He's like, what was it like to be the rat? And I'm like, you're inside of me. Like, no, you watch, I'm no. a rat. Like, he said that, that, shit. He said like, that, oh. he said that <laughs> when he talked about Halloween. Yes. And people wore Remy the costumes. <laughs> yeah. And he's like, I try not to answer the door and be like, you're inside my skin right now. <laughs> 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 and like, what? <laughs> Beautiful. I love it. I love it. That's amazing. <laughs> I have a few similar internal monologues in people cosplay. But, you know. It's my favorite <laughs> dumb theory from Kingdom Hearts where it's Xenohort shaved his head so the rat couldn't control him like it did with Sora. Oh, oh that's my smart. God. It's like, oh my God, that oh was the He was the most thing. powerful one of them all. Oh he could just pull on his hair and he'd make that bitch cook for him. Yeah. <laughs> he could have murdered thousands. Make that he bitch like, no. cook. He did. No, he did. He was a, he's a Gundam okay. pilot. Yes, Remy is a Gundam pilot. <laughs> Just saying. With, with living Gundams. Yeah. <laughs> it's fine. You know what? That's a good way to look at it. Yeah, I'm gonna... Like, Iris and Luna did the same thing. What are we gonna do? <laughs> I feel like we're winding down, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna guess that, you know, we wrap the show, and then we do the post show, and then Tyler comes over, and we talk about what he wants to name the episode, and I'm guessing it's gonna be something about Jeff's butthole. Yeah. yeah. He just... <laughs> yep. There's a hard... Yep. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah. yep. Yeah. From yeah, the back there's room. A, there's a yes. So he's like, what... What like, you think pop li living most? longer via butthole you or know, something like his, yeah um, his anus. <laughs> yeah, but, but his buttholes anus tough. Did that was buttholes really tough because then we you know we gotta fight the YouTube battle. Right. But, well, well, well yeah. butthole get us. I mean, Butthole's fine. Even even okay. brown okay. hole. The hole anus. might do it. We anus. I don't, I don't think brown hole. Why not? Better. Anus is a scientific. It's medical. It's a medical term. Fine, but you know YouTube they hate medicine. You know they don't believe in climate change. Would they censor penis in the title? Probably. Probably. Really? Yeah. That's a that, but that's yeah, an I mean, anatomical yeah, term. I mean, they I anatomical, it, they but it's like, no money for like you. yeah, demonetize. You can't demonetize with medical terms. They can terms. do whatever they want. Yeah, they can. I'm with you, Jerry. Yeah. You can do whatever they want. It's fucked up. Listen, there's what the man, should be. And if the title of all of is my cock is out, demonetize it. There's what should be. My cock is chewing. But if it's like has been revealed, why is that not? Why is that bad? It's a medical term. I don't know, but they're ugly. Penises? Yeah. Nah. Matt, I can hear him swearing throughout no. the whole neighborhood. No, keep it trim and stuff. You can keep but that up again. Trim your penis? penis. <laughs> no, but penis. around it. No, I mean. The whole neighborhood. You're not wrong. Regardless of how bad the art is, as long as but the frame's nice, like, well, you're like, hey. Like, it's just an ugly thing. It's just like a one-eyed one -eyed monster. <laughs> <laughs> It yeah. is a weird penises thing. Penises and feet. Yeah, I'll be yeah. real with you. Feet are gross. Um, feet shouldn't be out. Yeah, penises are Unless not Unless you're on the attractive. beach or something. Put those things away. True. There is no time where a penis is inviting or welcoming. It's just there. 
and you got to deal with it. Wow. Yeah, that's what I, I don't, said. I don't yeah. disagree with she you. She says that to no, me a lot. Said, yeah. no, <laughs> that's never. that's, that's not not unfortunate. I, I love the person who is connected to the penis. Oh. If it was just like, yo, I'm a random penis with no body attached, you'd be like, I'm good. Thank you. All right, no, sir. Why is the penis? No, why is it a gangster? No, no, no. Why is the pe yo? Wait, hey, 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 yo, I'm just a penis. Well, it's good. Man. Yo, you want to have some fun tonight? That's, 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 that's the vibe they give off of them. Penises yeah, just give that vibe. Yeah, it's, it's like it's a gangster do. thing. Oh, yeah. oh, hey, oh, hey. Penises will pull you in a back alley and offer you drugs. And you're like, no, I'm good. Thank you. Penises will oh, yeah. yeah. some of the white stuff. Well, if there's no body, the penis has to talk. If there's no body, the penis is absorbing the entirety of the human. If it's just feel like a penis would offer. For drugs, even yeah, if, if, wasn't if you weren't around, your penis would. Your penis would be doing coke at the fucking high school reunion. Snorting <laughs> oh it. it right through its hole. His you know? penis is getting lost Sucking in Australia. Your penis is just wandering down the yeah. street, and everybody would look and go, There's an American penis. Yeah. He's lost. Yeah. Yeah. It's true. It'd be lost. If there's one thing people know, my penis just wants to have a good time. You know? You know, your and he's just having fun. Right, and he's just having a good time. Yeah, just uh, a uh, helicopter uh, in. He's you know? just throwing it out there and yeah, seeing what sticks. Here, here we go. Yeah. Hey, oh. Oh, Lord. Dude, it takes skill and practice to helicopter your, your dick. It's true. For a good amount of time. Yeah. Oh, what is your record? <laughs> what? Oh, like, what? <laughs> you know? <laughs> that, that, I am saying it's like, I kind of want to know. Exactly. Like, you know, I'll ask it for you, man. Good amount of time. I usually just stop it on my own because okay. Jackie goes, enough. <laughs> Yeah. Who, who is that? Go for? until you get like a stern response. Oh yeah! It's like all Absolutely. right, all right, I'm, I'm done. Stop! Yes, yeah, yeah. stop! Not now. <laughs> yeah. then, you go, then you go a couple more seconds. Yeah, just a little bit, <laughs> just a little bit past yeah, the stern stop. Then you start getting oh, it Lord. gets threatened. I almost had a good one this morning. I came that close. I was uh, I've been waking up extra early now to try to like I'm trying to get my workouts in in the morning. Mm -hmm. And um, helicopter is of course part. Well. Of I get there. Okay, I was sorry. upstairs, and um, so like all my workout equipment is upstairs. So I was up there like working out and doing everything. And then Kat was leaving to go to work. She has to leave a lot earlier than I do. And she's saying to me like, "Oh, you know, all right, I gotta go. See you later." And I like went over to our like kind of loft. There's like a railing, and I was leaning on the railing, and so I didn't have a shirt on. And I just said like, I, I just had jeans on because I knew I was gonna put them in the laundry anyway. So I was like, I'll just work out in these and then put them in the laundry. And uh, so I was just sitting there, and she was like, you look really good right now, like, looking like that. And I was like, oh, yeah? And then I was like, it'd be really funny if I ruined this moment entirely and just kind of, like, stuck through the bars of the <laughs> railing. Like, because, you know, it's the railing, and yeah. then, like, you it's know, perfect. Like that. I was like, it's perfect. It's, it's like a, it's like a, it's yeah. like a curtain That's opening for a it's show. It's great too when they come home. It's a dip window. And, a dip hey, window. Look, at, look at me. Yeah. And I yeah. really <laughs> was like, oh <laughs> man. I was like, but she's gonna see me setting up for it and walk away before the events. <laughs> yeah. And Sometimes like, they'll, oh, they'll, they'll, they'll cut it like right at the right. start. And then I just went back to doing lunches. <laughs> just packed it in and walked away. No. Man. No, it's unfortunate. What, what could have what, what could have been? Imagine you know I could have put it on the railing. Oh my yeah. god. god! Damn! Wow, a whole new oh, world. What a world! <laughs> what a no. what a! But then again, it's dangerous. <laughs> There's an alternate uh, universe out there. Is over the railing. It's easier for you to fall over. What's like yeah. multiverse, infinite universes? There's a tall Jeremy out there somewhere. Yeah. 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 There's one Jeremy that's taken one inch Capital from every Jay. other Jeremy. <gasps> so you're all short except for this one guy. <laughs> He's just he sucking it up. <laughs> Jeremy Dooley's the one. And it's like Jet Li, but it has to nothing world. to do with strength. He's it's like just 12 height. feet tall. Yeah. <laughs> but yes. He's, He's out just there. He and makes you an inch shorter. He's out there sucking the height from all the other universes. He's sucking the juice. Biggest Damn. question. Time, he's just like, all the other born? Jeremy's won't know. What did you say? What did you say? No, I say he does it when the Jeremy's are born. Oh, born. Oh, it's a whole time born. travel oh. thing. It's a, don't worry. Cult of, oh, okay. I can't, the I can't be in Jeremy's are born, he's born too. No. Yeah, not when you, the same no. age. Now when you no, add there's in the a time travel one factor. Yeah, he's, he's, Look, going, he's going back what to, to the other Now this is science fiction. You have to think here, okay? It was, he started off short, and that's what drove him to, right, to look everything's in yeah. the time yes. travel. It's like a mad scientist. back in time. Oh, see, we didn't, didn't mention time travel at all. There's yeah, infinite, no, there's infinite universes. In no universe is there a Jeremy smart enough to figure that out. Well, you don't know. The time They're all dumb. Bad enough. You They're all dumb. the time stone, you Maybe put it on the cock ring, it. and then you go back. No, and no. And what happens you is, yeah. when you get a couple of enough Jeremy inches built up, then six foot five Jeremy, 
just shoves the guy that made the time machine. <laughs> yeah, it's over. It. Yeah. You can't stop it. Time him. stuff. He's got and his strength his and the Infinity cod piece. Yeah. Like all wow. the stones in it. Wow, what an ending. Now, my biggest question from this entire discussion is, apparently uh-huh. for me, a penis sounds like a Brooklyn gangster. Yeah. <laughs> Would your take have a Boston A-O, accent? Hey, oh, hey, oh, hey. Yo. Gobble, gobble ghoul. Hey, oh, hey. I will, oh, no. I will send it back. <laughs> I'll be honest. I know you're about to ask, what would my penis sound like? Yeah, it's one of like, those Boston But honestly, on. after doing that AOA, I can't imagine a penis sounding any other way. Yeah. They all sound like yeah. Chicago sound 30s like, yeah. gangsters. Yes. Like, <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> I love it. Hey, what's this happening? Yeah, or, uh, what are we doing? Yeah, what are we just wasting time I'm or something? I'm out here yeah. giving you my all. I just got, you know, it's, <laughs> that's wanna, all I can do. It's cold out here. I got my hoodie. I want to taste the deep dish. I want to taste. Oh, weird. <laughs> weird. <laughs> that was weird. All right. All right. Home. Anyways. All right. Anywho. There we are. Right. The gobble goo. We've done it. <laughs> Get some gobble goo. Stick it in the gobble goo. Oh boy. Send it night, back. Thanks for joining us. On yeah. A very special uh, medical edition. <laughs> Put uh, penis in the title and see if it gets no! to my it, it will. It it's will. not like a it see will. if it, it will. I mean. Butthole. Yeah. We might try something. Give me butthole, we'll, at least. Uh, we'll give it. Well, that's it. Wants. Everyone. Tyler, don't make that face. We gotta. Whatever the YouTube gods say. It's proof of Tyler's concept. Tyler's making his face like a butthole, yeah. which is weird. He the was the YouTube gods bow only to Jimmy Fallon. You know this. Yeah. You know this. Butthole is in the title. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.